the out the there out channel. There. Please sub and share. Searching for the truth. UFOs, aliens, greys and ufology. Real images, real stories, real videos, real cases, researched and investigated by professionals in the field and cutting-edge discoveries. Multiple witnesses, abduction accounts brought to you by Team The Out There Channel. Good to, Good be, to back. be back. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, 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 one. one. Action. 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 Yo yo, I'm sick we all up and running. Okay, I'll just do a few checks and uh, some little admin work here for for we rock and roll. Uh, who's out there? Say hi in the side chat. Uh, there's a little niggles at the start there for some reason. Uh, I'm just fighting my eyes again. The cataracts getting worse, and the waiting lists uh, getting longer. <laughs> uh, so I have to phone them up today at the hospital. See what the hell's going on. Plus, I've got a book in for the dentist. I need to get the fill ins that fell out and sorted. So, yeah, it's a lot of spend in the head again. So, what's today's show? Just to carry on from last weekend, pretty much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, did I hear it already open? I did. Uh, there's my weird link. <laughs> we can find some of the old best episodes and uh, all the social media links <coughs> and donation links if you don't want to use YouTubes or the operating system that you're using <laughs> I mean the domain you're using, pilled, whatever uh, you can bypass them if you want to Okay, just a couple more checks here. Um, while I wake up, <laughs> uh, pin, call me, where's it gone? On YouTube. Okay, who's out there? Anybody? I don't see any activity at the moment. Are we on Twitch at the moment? Uh, let's see if we've got anyone up there at the moment. 
Uh, so we we're offline there, yeah. so they can't be correct. Let me just reload that. Yeah, it's not self-updating, is it? Okay, so he's live now. Uh, we'll see who long pops along there. That's the latest one I've added. Odyssey. How's it going? Uh, doesn't have a sort of like a live indicator, does it? Let's reload that one too. Uh, Siri watching, what's it say there? Started six minutes ago, that'll do me. Um, Rumble. Okay, looks like it's uh, going. And how many you got up there? We got two up there at the moment. Do say hi in the site. And pilled. How are we going on pilled here? It looks like it already started there too. I'll pause that there. Um, just me up there at the moment. Well, that's what. Yeah, well, I don't know where everybody is, but we just carry on. <laughs> and we got four on YouTube, but no one's talking. <laughs> Hey, I'll just kill those there. I think I did that already, though. Hey, Michael King, first one to pop his head up. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Is that working? Good evening. Yeah. Um. Yep, that's working. Okay, it looks like it's all up and going. Five streams at once. <laughs> Google can't silence us now. They've lost out, really, haven't they? Uh, once they kicked in that censorship nonsense and deleting channels and community strikes on stuff that turned out to be true after all. Uh, anyway, it should be that uh, no one moderates, that everybody in the side moderates a channel, but like Reddit does, with the upvotes, I guess. I don't, I don't know, there must be a way to let the majority rule on a particular live show. And rather than having to have staff that do it with biases in their politics and religion. So, yeah. Uh, what's Mike saying? <laughs> Eye of Sahara. How's it going? Uh, yeah, a bit rough for this week, I'm afraid. Um, uh, pains everywhere in my joints for some reason. I think it's too much computer work. <laughs> uh, sitting here. Uh, Google are screwing themselves over by doing a s taking a side yet. Yeah, because they are. Should always be in the middle. And your basic rules should be maybe addressed like um, obviously hate speech but hate speech has been sabotaged right it's not really hate speech anymore it's anything that goes <laughs> a, a hate speech used to be where you're telling people to kill themselves or whatever like that that's what should that should be you know or some sort of gunman sh going around shooting people uh, that's the stuff they should be monitoring but it's sort of added on to it all the time now they used to have um live shows that 
people used to demonstrate uh, maintenance of guns and all that sort of stuff. I don't think you're allowed to do that anymore. Although we don't have guns in New Zealand like you do in America. Um, the government took away a lot of the controls. Which is basically what California wants to implement, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so they went into another realm or another thing. And at the moment they got Choice or Twitch uh, pilled, which I, I kind of like. And uh, Rumble, which is also pretty good, but doesn't keep the side chats, which is kind of lame in my book. Because uh, when you do presentations, you want to post it in the side chats and keep it. Um, Odyssey gets around that by converting the side chat into comments below the video once it's processed, which I'm not sure is a, a good idea because it kind of looks different. I don't know why they just kind of have the block of side comments like everybody else, but uh, at least it's something, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so everybody's joined us here. We've got a couple of people on YouTube, was it? Mike and Sahara Dude. Who else we got? Anybody on the other channels? Doesn't look like it. But we'll just carry on. I feel like I've forgotten something though. Um, I think the CPU's equalized out. But anyway, uh, let's carry on. On with the show. <laughs> so where do we begin? Do we start with the drama, UFO videos, a bit of mix, a mixture? Uh, yeah, we got this scrolly thing that doesn't always work. And um, the problem is also we got. Um, various bugs in YouTube where they don't use the time field anymore. I don't think it's an add-on doing it, but I'll probably have to do some more checks on that. So, uh, yeah. So we've got a few things at the front here. What I'm going to do with uh, Robert, if he ever wants to come on to talk about him. But he's been doing researches into various case, new cases and also old ones. He begins that uh, Cash Landon one is not what it seems. Uh, remember they talked about the diamond-shaped UFO? Uh, come on, CPU. What's going on here? It's like the browsers are getting slower and slower, isn't it? Yeah, look at it. It's just crap. <laughs> Yeah, definitely need a supercomputer to keep up all these browsers slowing things down. Look, this is crap. <laughs> I'm not even touching it. Come on, finally! <laughs> uh, I suppose we could start with Dunnan, couldn't we? Now, you know Dunnan uh, is uh, Mick West's uh, fan. Uh, what do you call him? <laughs> Uh, Mick West has the, the munches on them, munchies on Brian Dunnan. The worst thing Brian Dunnan has done for skepticism. So this uh, was years ago uh, when he got caught um, basically stealing millions of dollars from eBay affiliates by putting cookies on his web page even though people didn't click on products on the page uh, he used some sort of robot code to make sure it does a automatic click on a hidden advert that wasn't visible so the cookie got set to his so that means when those people left his site and went and found a product they liked from another youtuber or another website owner uh, they didn't get the the commission, even though they sold the product. Instead, it went straight to Brian Dunnan's pocket and his brother, and he made a lot of excuses up, as I talked about in past live shows about this guy. Um, 
that um, Amazon itself was uh, had people inside that were corrupt and helping them. But I think they got caught out too and arrested and all that sort of stuff in the end. The FBI did a big investigation on it. So this uh, is a blog post to come across from 2014. She's still on uh, Twitter. Still doing shows, I think. And this is what she had to say about him. Uh, Brian Dunnan is fairly prominent amongst skeptics for his podcast, Skeptoid. Is prominent uh, amongst FBI agents uh, for his conviction for wire fraud. This case has been ongoing since 2011, so shows how old, uh, long ago he did it. Dunnan's sentencing is in April, so that's already happened. He got a year and a half in prison, I think. I don't know if he managed to get out on parole early. For those who are unfamiliar with the skeptical community, it's based in large part on exposing frauds. So this uh, criminal, so this criminal's continued popularity with skeptics is fascinating study in human nature. Now we see this kind of mentality in ufology, don't we? Now it doesn't matter that uh, the guy that's debunking UFA cases is actually a criminal himself. And it doesn't matter to other debunkers like Mac Rest that he's got uh, past convictions. Uh, and you're meant to believe everything this guy puts out, including movies that he makes with Mac Rest. Uh, yeah. For instance, Dunnan, Dunnan was, and I'm not sure what's got crossed out, uh, edited. A friend has pointed out that Dunnan's case didn't make headlines until the spring of 2013. So, never mind. He was a guest on Skeptic's Sign podcast in November. And someone recently pointed me towards this Melon embarrassing amp -up in the face of Dunnan plead guilty to since, uh, stealing five million in part using cookies planted on visitors to his skeptoid website court documentations here no documenta uh, documents I found lists which pages exactly but you believe that Dunnan skipped placing the code on most of his website. Uh, he had multiple websites. Um, so yeah, we're not too sure which ones he put it on, but he did have one with a mapping site, was one of the prime ones, before Google rolled out their Google Earth and Maps and all that sort of stuff. Even more impressive is the fact that Skeptics recently rushed to give Dunnan even more money, <laughs> funding a Kickstarter campaign with nearly 15000 so Dunnan could print out transcripts of his podcast and sell them as a book, using voluntary, uh, voluntary time to ship the books out. Again, just... To be clear, Dunnan is rich, convicted fraud, who may soon be facing up to 20 years, which he didn't get. Now, there's a few people that fit that category, including Skew Curtain. He was a fraudster, but he didn't make five million, but he's made two and a half million of uh, advertisers through Google. And it's still fraud if you're creating fake videos and profiting from it. Um, the very same skeptics who happily point out Mormons that they idolize a fraud and Joseph Smith who tell believers of Sevilla Brown that she was convicted of fraud. Not sure what she's going on about there. Uh, check out the comments on the Kickstarter. It probably won't be there anymore, will it? Uh, but all that is just preamble, uh, remaining a prominent face on skepticism while 
I wait in census for fraud is not the worst thing Brian Dunn has done for scepticism. And no, it's not how he repeatedly gets the science wrong on his podcast or his casual sexism. <laughs> no, this is the worst thing Brian has done for scepticism. So, uh, yes, uh, she's probably... Uh, Feminist, I guess. So, Dunn and like uh, various other podcasts out there like to have skimpy women um, in music videos and whatnot, uh, trying to get to people to send them cash. Uh, so, he put out this music video, which is pretty cringy. Uh, maybe you can play a bit of it. Let's uh, take a chance, I guess. Okay, we'll play a bit of it. I've got to be careful here, though. Uh, it's really uh, cringy, rappy thing. If you're at a seance. Say you're looking for your uncle. So he's got a thing on a fishing line here. Bob, but your spirit guy didn't lock the doorknob. We bust in and flip the switch. That's just a par parlor trick. Tell your psychic to hit the bricks. <laughs> Cringe, cringe. <laughs> or you're in merry old England in the countryside. See a crop circle. <laughs> if anything, it should be used to mock the hell out of him, I reckon. Must be 50 meters wide. Snap a picture quick. Because we're coming with a thick, dusty coating of Monsanto up in your plant room. <laughs> <laughs> this one will get you going, Mike. Uh, you're big on the contrails. <laughs> I mean, Kim Trails. <laughs> we got chemicals in here. We got radar. We got calibrated meters. Every time the cheaters gonna start a new. <laughs> cheaters! <laughs> Attack, and we got your back. Break up their alliance. It's not us. It you should have Dr. J on there. Yeah, that's not a blind. <laughs> Just science. Uh, we gotta start off the. The day of a laugh, aren't we? Now your friend shot some footage of an alien. He says it's real. We say you better look again. Check the zipper. <laughs> Check for the zipper. <laughs> on the back and the sticker on the crack. The ET's made out of PVC. Ah, <laughs> uh, the yeah. I better not laugh too much. My eyes are watering over. It's like Bigfoot. When your buddy says watch, he shows you 27 pixels and he says that Sasquatch <laughs> or a Yeti or an ape from Mongolia. Yeah, unfortunately though, uh, you can't get close enough to re reduce that 27 pixels to 1080p. <laughs> so, that is a problem in the, in the field. Um, especially with Bigfoot, uh, you wouldn't want to get too close to them <laughs> if they exist. Uh, which I believe there's a lot of evidence now that's coming out. Uh, from that show, Expedition Bigfoot, uh, they seem to be really credible what they're capturing on film anyway. Uh, if it's staged, it's pretty well done. But that's the problem, is we don't know uh, with TV shows if it's staged. But then if you've got real scientists on there with reputations, right, they should uh, prove that they're not trying to fool, but they're actually trying to find out for themselves. But like me, right? Uh, I'm not trying to fool anybody. I always try and back up my stuff if I can and uh, apply science to it. But it's just pareidolia. <laughs> we got analysts in here. We got Photoshop doing our inspection, checking the reflections and the tricks. That's terrible. And it's probably the worst rap song ever, really, isn't it? <laughs> I thought um, the Black Knight Satellite and the... Stephen Greer thing was pretty bad. Send them back where they came from with intellectual napalm. Terrible, terrible. Now your kids and school, and he's got a cough, and the principal thinks he's looking kind of soft. It's time for vaccination, but the hater nation say they're anti-vax. Well, we say that's whack. Well, how the hell that applies to today's, because he did this uh, a few years ago, back in 2014, right? 
This is before the code, but... They say it just feels right. That is just common sense. But extraordinary claims need extraordinary evidence. Anecdotes fail. Because of confirmation bias. It's not us, it's just science. So, so far, all the gills in there, none of them are scientists, so it's sort of like dancing gills, aren't they? So yeah, you can see there's a wee bit of uh, non-diversity. <laughs> that the gills can only be dumb dancers, and uh, the men are all scientists. What's your star sign? Never mind, because they'll tell you what you want to know. Stroke your ego, but you want to Like that, yeah, you. right. Make their psychic print. But anyway, uh, that's stirred up the skill anyway. Uh, if you can make it through 60 seconds <laughs> without covering your eyes and saying, oh, no, 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 you're a stronger person than I am. I found the video by seeing a link on cringe <laughs> where it rightfully uh, sits painful awkward YouTube videos that seem like uh, Tim and Eric sketches I don't know what who that is for those who can't see the video first of all congratulations allow me to describe it a jolly middle-aged uh, bored and white man awkwardly attempts to rap, but he never actually heard rap before. <laughs> he knows it has something to do with rhythms, <laughs> uh, rhymes, I mean. Um, here's an example that is not in the video, but should give you an idea of the cadence. Well, my name is Brian. I'm here to say I like to rap in the science way. <laughs> the man who is, spoiler alert, uh, Brian Dunn raps. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And your buddy says, what? He shows you 27 pixels. Yeah, I kind of like that one. <laughs> The last time, last line is delivered as Dunning waggles his head and gazes smugly into the camera, uh, apparently unaware that what he has described is not, in fact, pareidolia. Yeah, uh, not the person walking close in a suit. It certainly wasn't pareidolia in that section. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Rebecca Watson. So, yeah, I thought that was quite a funny, uh, the rap song. How's, how's it get to in the end? Got you not to say. <laughs> oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> it's amazing what Google allows. Boston fakes. So don't frown if we mark you down for non-compliance. It's not a... Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah, um, maybe someday we should go through all his debunks on UFO cases and see how bad they really are. But, uh, yeah, um, whereabouts was it, that one there? No, where was it there? Let's get rid of that one. I'll post a link to it so you can have a watch of it if you want to, but... It's very cringy. He hasn't changed much though, has he? In 10 years, he still looks pretty much the same. Uh, done and cringe for the day. 27 pixels of a Bigfoot. How about UFO? <laughs> They're the ones that uh, are a lot worse. <laughs> At least the Bigfoot ones, you can say, yeah, don't I? Could be, could not be. Uh, is that the right place? <laughs> don't want to close the wrong tabs. Uh, this is the other drama that's going out there, which was hilarious uh, from probably a month ago now. Uh, just getting around to it. Uh, just catch up in the side comments before I get on to the next laughable. <laughs> um, 
I thought I saw some other comments here. Two people now. I went to all the rest of them. Um, anyone from other domains? High gun use areas have lowest crime. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, the places like New York that have no guns have highest crimes. Well, at the moment, we've got a whole crime wave of uh, juveniles use, uh, stealing cars and crashing them into gas stations to break in to steal cigarettes and pretty much anything they can get their hands on. And the government's not really got any control over it. <laughs> uh, in fact, some petrol gas stations are hiring their own security guards because they can't rely on the country's police at the moment. Uh, they're putting up crash barriers and all sorts of fog cannons. None of it seems to work. It doesn't deter them. Um, I think if the punishment fits the crime, right? And what they send them off is to halfway houses and trying to re-educate them. Um, maybe some of them need to really... Uh, I don't know. Good public flogging. <laughs> Back in like in the old days. <laughs> How did they deal with crime? Strip them off to Australia. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's a problem in New Zealand at the moment. And they just found a body washed up in a lake, of all things. Uh, an Asian girl. Asian lady, I should say. But uh, we have one that's gone missing and crushed. It has not been found. And the husband was going to flee the country. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happened to him, whether they had to let him go or not, because they couldn't get a body, they couldn't convict. So, yeah. And New Zealand's gradually going down the tubes, guys. It's not a uh, nice destination. You've got to always keep your wits about you. I know we had a few trampers put to trust in the wrong people, end up dead in the forests. Because people can go missing in the forest quite easily in New Zealand because it's pretty dense and it's got wild pigs. A uh, wild pig will kill you and rip you a bit so and actually eat you and you'll never be found. So, of course, uh, criminals use that information knowing that um, they can get, rev get around murder. So, yeah, on to... The next bit, this one here. Now, I did ask permission whether I could play it and never got a reply from this guy. God, Lou, you sure embarrassed yourself and got owned again. And why you need to learn to research stuff before opening your mouth. Hang with Stephen. I'm sure you'll make this channel even better. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Now... As you know, he's anti-Trump and uh, thinks the shaman is dangerous, even though he's been on lots of talk shows recently. He looks pretty harmless. He looks quite intelligent. Uh, maybe he got too deep in the QAnon stuff. But uh, people make mistakes. And uh, the videos of him walk being loud and showing around the chambers wasn't storming the capital, <laughs> as Luke kept mentioning so yeah i don't know I'm sure where he's getting his facts from but obviously it's from cnn or somewhere like that or the echo chamber um but he also made uh, claims against a big youtuber of five million people plus uh if you add it all together it's probably up to six million uh, it's probably not a wise thing to do especially when you you didn't research it properly and it turns out that the channel was actually uh, pointing out what uh, Lou was claiming they were promoting because they were a part of the fact uh, checkers list on it. But we'll just play a clip of it anyway, show you uh, his rebuttal to Lou's attack on him. And I might have to open it up a separate channel. Uh, click here. Alright, oh, maybe when it's embedded it actually keeps the thing. 
Uh, this, I'll just go full channel on it. Hopefully it's the right place for the bookmark. Let me just see, does it open up? Now I'm not sure if that's a real image or not. <laughs> but it does look like him. It's a good Photoshop if it's not. So I'm not sure if it's one of his um, acting skits. But he's meant to be a taxi driver at the moment. He's done waitering, taxi driver. Isn't that what uh, actors do, though? They get all these low-level jobs while they're trying to get a lead role in acting. So let's just play it here. Go, I go, think, go, go. I'm not sure if it's uh, screwed up. I think it has, isn't it? Um, let's see. Let's open it incognito. Make sure we got it in the right place. Go, 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 go. There it is. I got it. I got it, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for the actress? Yeah, okay, so this guy's called uh, Kim Star Show. Or Kim Star. Now, he's the one that's, uh, if you don't know, is behind the Sky Fire News on Twitter. Um, which, again, is turned into a load of garbage news like you find elsewhere, right? Uh, there's no fact checking on it, and there's no. Not always links to the background of the people they promote, like Greer and whatnot. So, yeah, I, I, we need need like a credible news source on UFOs, but so far it's not looking like what he's doing is going to be exactly that. But uh, yeah, Skyfire News. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Um. I'm not sure if we can get to it. Ooh, Michael King donated three pounds through Super Chat. Uh, thanks, mate. And uh, let's see if we can find Skyfire News. I'll just go to here. And just type it up here. Obviously, you're going to need to be a big YouTuber that can hire other people, which is what he's done. And the people that he's hired, though, uh, Lou doesn't like. Uh, they're the ones that sort of backstab Lou. The views uh, with Lou, Sondo, and all the other ones. Oh, here it is. Come up in the list. So this is Guy Fire News. It just, uh, it's got various people... The, that's working for him, posting up the articles. Um, can't remember what their names were now, but like Milk, uh, Milk Fart, or whatever his name is, and uh, uh, who was the other people? UFO Mike, is it? Something like that, anyway. But you can see there's the sort of stuff they've been putting up here. Uh, looks like he's going live tonight, too. Uh, Joe Rogan clips. Uh, other people's posts, by the looks of it. Uh, the hearings and the fallout of court, uh, court practice. And Ross Cohart, or Coldheart. <laughs> So it's got some credible bits here, various clips, but uh, he does promote sh various shells, right? But really, I think all these, uh, if you look, if you've got a blue tick, you can actually have a fairly big comment now, and you can actually put a link to be where this person has been caught uh, faking video. So if he did a post on Secure Team as back, which he did do. Uh, he should have posted a link. Uh, secure team is known to make fake videos. Uh, you can find out all the information here. See, and that would be like a credible news source then. Uh, you can actually say, put up uh, Dr. Greer, but as long as you've got a link 
um, give the background on. And yeah, like these police clowns are promoting, right? Uh, George Knapp and uh, uh, Corbell. There should be a link there that Corbell has been called out uh, promoting uh, videos that none of them have been UFOs. <laughs> Uh, Mike Michael again. King donated two pounds through Super Chat. Uh, thanks, mate. So there was one here on CQ team from a month ago or whatever it was. <laughs> well, a couple of weeks ago, I think. And you can see there's all sorts of clickbaity stuff here. Uh, Andrew Tate, you have to believe in aliens because humans are losers. So it sort of comes across a wee bit when you do posts like that, that, that sort of looks like uh, UK rag nonsense, doesn't it? Um, scientists reveal what the alien mummies may have lost. So, so if you're promoting, again, the alien mummies, you should have link there saying uh, these have been debunked. Uh, they're made up of clay and uh, human bones and also llama heads and all that sort of stuff. So this is a new presentation that um, uh, Haney, my son, put out, claiming this is what the humans would look like. Now, there are humans with bulgy eyes like that, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> so there's nothing abnormal. You know, I've seen lots of people like that in New Zealand with bulgy eyes like that. And uh, some of them also have eye conditions where they do bulge out like that. I um, can't remember what the condition is called now, but the eye can swell up and almost pop out, right? So, you can see pretty much just by scrolling through all this, all the trend in sure heads, I guess. <laughs> Deceased bow and whistleblower, so they put some conspiracies up there, even though it's not to do with UFOs. But I suppose since they put it sky fire news, anything in the sky, I, I guess they can get away with it. Who wants to go and fly to New Zealand <laughs> on a bow and nobody? In fact, there was something happened in New Zealand recently where the plane plummeted downwards uh, some sort of computer glitch happened and everybody whacked their head on the ceiling off the plane as you know about inertia and moving fast way things are at rest um, that's what happens so maybe you should wear your seat belts all the time then in case the door blows off or the this plane suddenly dives bombs uh, here we go another one here the promoting dot degree and the biggest uh, hoax channel on the web, Blake Cousins. Uh, again, there's no link to say anything about uh, third phase of been called out uh, faking stuff, and Dr. Greer has as well with his uh, light beams. Anyway, we'll just get on and play the the clip. Uh, yeah, it was in a separate window, wasn't it? I'll just catch up in the side comments before I move on because I've got a few donations there. Now, what's happened here? Oh, that's the one that's floating over top now. Uh, let's just shrink it down. Yeah, right, so we got um, two donations from Michael. Thanks a lot. And um, what have we got here? There is a real push towards humans going to World War Three. Yeah, probably. Um, but you can guarantee those ones that are pushing it aren't going to be on the front lines. They're going to be on the back lines, right? Doesn't quite look right there. Uh, recently been looking into history and the Jesuits. And the controllers. Yeah, they're called uh, CIA, CIA now. <laughs> uh, history tells you that the Jesuits were removed from most countries, included the Vatican. Um, they also went off down to South America, remember? You heard about all them. All the city of gold and the gold uh, that uh, 
the natives down that way had. And they got their hands on it. Uh, there was a series on a history channel, was it? Or D Discovering, where a group of men uh, hear, hear, hear about this tale that they come across a tunnel and a mountain that led to this underground storage of uh, gold that the Jesuits had hidden. Uh, and sure enough, they do find this uh, cave system under a mountain uh, that fit the description. <laughs> and they, it was all flooded, so they, they didn't have all the, the right tools because they had to hike in. They didn't have helicopters. And there was never a part two of it, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, you can bet that maybe the government down there or someone stopped them going back to reclaim what was there. But they put a camera into the water and it looked like there was a flash of a gold bar. But like Oak, I Oak Island. So, yeah, I'm not sure what it was called now. Uh, but it was very interesting, serious, because I like uh, Trisha Hunton shows. <laughs> Especially if it's got some history and... Uh, facts about it you know it's not like some sort of a moko uh can i come on voice uh um i suppose you could um uh, got the link uh <coughs> but maybe uh, you gotta try and keep within google's terms so uh, always say my opinion or something like that. <laughs> um, free for all. Now I didn't, I didn't have the energy again to do free for all. And it looks like next week, uh, next uh, weekend we've got a function I have to get to, so I might not be able to do uh, open lines. Um, yeah, I've got to do that too next weekend either uh, you got the link you got it bookmarked <laughs> well you reckon you'll be good it'll be as good as a, a, a Scotsman can be that's what he means <laughs> anyway let's uh, get back to this uh, Lou reviews and just play this clip here where um, I think he did a really good job of rebutting uh, Lou actually that we leaked her deep fake uh, porn here we go okay so Lou was accusing them of posting uh, on the other channel which is called drama alerts he's got another he's got various uh, channels because he's a big youtuber he can afford to run it all um he was accusing uh of attacking a actress or something with uh deep fake porn in fact they they weren't <laughs> so here we go oh here we go wait what the fuck <laughs> bobby altoff reacts to her leaks link in bio <laughs> wait what <laughs> Wait, hold hold the phone. Is Bobby Altoff a fucking actress? Since when is she a fucking actress? She has a pod. Uh, he gets away with a lot of swearing, doesn't he? Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize how much f words this guy has. Cash. She interviews celebrities. She's not a fucking actress. So one, just completely fake. All right. Reacts to her leaks. Uh. So this is a Lee post about it. So I'm not sure if Bobby is a girl or a tran or what, so, but uh, obviously it's on his other channel, Drama Alerts. Link in bio. Interesting. Um, let's see exactly where the link in bio goes. Oh, it goes to the Snapchat show. It goes to the Snapchat show where we literally reported that these were AI generated deep fakes. So the whole actually, you know what? I don't think to, to be fair to Lou, I think that is a different thumbnail. I know I posted this on my Twitter. 
So I think there's a different one. Bear with me two seconds. I don't think that is the correct thumbnail. It. I know I posted it on my Twitter because the community notes on this are fucking astronomically stupid. Got it. Here we go. Here we go. This was the day prior. This was the day prior. Bobby Altuff got leaked. Link in bio. And then as you can see, it got community noted, right? The Bobby Altoff leak images videos is fake. And she is now the latest victim of an AI deep fake porn. And some X accounts are still knowingly spreading this uh, for comment and post interaction willfully continuing to victimize her and other victims. You know where a source is for the correct information? Fucking drama alert. Do you see this? Do you see how fucking stupid this is? They community noted drama alert, and then they fucking use drama alert as a source to say that these in fact are fake. And by the way, the link in bio, this is literally a thumbnail link in bio to the Snapchat show where we reveal that it is a fucking deep fake. Like this whole fucking thing that you just heard from Lou Reviews is fantasy land. And why the fuck is Lou Reviews an actor who does table readings in Hollywood calling Bobby Altoff an actress when she isn't? An actress is the wrong fucking term. It would be actor. Isn't this guy woke and politically correct? We yeah. don't call actresses actresses anymore. They're actors. Well, I do. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, I don't see why I have to be forced to change my ways. Uh, uh, yeah, you want the link. Okay, uh, let me just have a look. Yeah, hey, I'll put the link out there. Um, I post it on YouTube only. Hang on. Uh, no one else come on though, uh, unless you ask permission first. Uh, you might get the AK to come on. But yeah, if you jump on, I'll probably end up having to block your IP address. Uh, I know there's been some sort of scumbags going around jumping on live shows and mas masturbating on live shows, such as Steve Cambion's. So yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mike, we can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that uh, there are a few idiots uh, trying to bring down a live shows at the moment uh, by doing porn when they come on. So, yeah, uh, obviously even a few seconds of that sort of stuff, uh, Google gets to delete you and put a community strike on you, even though it's not your fault. <laughs> but what can you do when it's a live show, you know? Um, and of course, then you'd have to edit it, and because Google is useless, um, they lose the side chat, even though if you want to um, mute out the sound. But yeah, uh, we're just playing this thing here where Lou was attacking Skyfire News and went down the porn thing here, and they're just proven that they were the actual uh, community alert to the actual true facts on the video um so they weren't the ones promoting the porn video the link was actually going to them debunking it as a deep fake and lou didn't even bother checking right uh if we go back to here we lose on right. his high everything horse. he said is right i i, I do know how to run social media accounts he calls them manipulation whatever i guess that's fine i guess you could yeah, i thought we we're gonna get lee talking about it is he gonna and who's Sorry. spreading this information because it turns out that video was an ai recreation a deep fake it was a deep fake and 
then it's flipped as to like, well, look, we just we just reported the news. Like, no, you didn't. I, we didn't report the news. Okay, the way, so we posted revenge porn. Oh, oh. that was a deep fake, and we didn't report oh. the news. These are all three claims, right? So when we go through, <coughs> you yeah, uh, that took over the clip, Mike. What's up? Yeah, what I done was like a lot of these deep fakes, right? You can put them through a couple of algorithms, and you can tell when they're deep fakes. There's a uh, yeah, I need to up attributes mic. that are cheap. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, it's just a, you seemed a bit low down on the volume to me, but uh, yeah, tiny just, bell. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, a lot of these deep. Deep fakes, you can tell they're deep fakes. You look at the algorithms and the changes they're making. Um, you can tell. I can tell a deep fake even with my visual acuity. Like just looking at it, yeah, I can tell something's. You got hip cuts, fake. mate. <laughs> you need more booze. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Lou didn't actually check out the deep fake video himself. He was too scared to click it, so he read the he read the headline about uh, about that on Sky Sky Fire News, but didn't actually click the link. And if he clicked the link, it would have gone to their Snapchat where they're talking about it being a deep fake, <laughs> not actually a link to the video trying to promote the porn video, right? For clickbait, so he got owned pretty much because he didn't do the proper research before doing a live show and uh, trying to out the guy. But what he should be, he should be Elton, the UFO ones, not the porn stuff anyway. Uh, and uh, basically what I pointed out is they should have a link pointing out that these people have been caught in hoaxes if they're going to promote them. Because then more more millions of people then, if he's got millions of followers, millions, and he's got like uh, 40,000 uh, UFO subscribers to his uh, Skyfire News, uh, a lot of those will be hearing this for the first time, right? Because they follow these channels, but uh, are blind to them being duped, right? Uh, all the fakes they put up. So, yeah. So it wasn't about that you couldn't recognize the deep fakes. I know me and you can probably pick out the deep fakes. Uh, there's not little errors in them and uh, stuff like that. Um... But anyway, uh, just carry on here. Through this and we add the bad faith counter, we're up to three right now. You didn't just report the news. And I was grateful to see that there were people in the comments sort of calling that shit out. And um, this is now bled over into UFOs. Okay. This is now bled over into UFOs. Okay. Where are we? All right. There we are. All right, so I'm going to have to go to Dromlet real quick. I'm going to have to find the tweet in question, and let's find out. Okay, that's where we jumped in. So really, it should have gone back a wee bit further. So we've, we've seen that, so it just progresses on. <laughs> oh, to the Snapchat show where we reveal that it is a fucking deep fake. Like, this whole fucking thing that you just heard from Lou Reviews is fantasy land. And why the fuck is Lou Reviews an actor who does table readings in Hollywood calling Bobby Altoff an actress when she isn't. An actress is the wrong fucking term. It would be actor. Isn't this guy woke and politically correct? We don't call actresses actresses anymore. They're actors. So, like, how many points do we give him for this nonsense that he spewed? Trying to put to his audience right that we're putting forth fucking revenge porn no we didn't no we fucking didn't <laughs> no we didn't <sighs> this guy swears more oh, than ufo proof terrible continue. he's got more f words than c words <laughs> team star red panda koala tupacabra and Skyfire News as a whole news entity. And I will also throw Ashton Forbes in there. He's recently <laughs> blocked me. Hey, I'm part of Skyfire News. 
I have been very cautious and have held my my distance from the people of Skyfire. Yeah, so this is the problem uh, Lou has, is that he's hired that M8370 shield promoter, right? Saying it was abducted by aliens as part of the uh, workforce for that uh, Skyfire news. So that's why it's going to go downhill because these people don't can't even fact check in the first place and uh, easily fooled by fake uh, ufo videos so they've been putting up various uh, the latest ufo thing but like uh, third face puts up without any uh analysis right like uh if you're going to put up fake videos then first of all you before you do that you ask around like Mick West what they think it is and actually post the responses to, to that right so you got sort of a balance thing you might have believers that might believe it you know you might have a few you might you might just ask certain people but like uh, proof is out there tries to do and uh, doesn't always get it right either but um yeah you can see straight away it's going to go downhill for lou after that big mistake on the porn revenge thing which they didn't do in fact they'd exposed it uh, which gives them credibility doesn't it uh, and it gives lou no credibility of a researcher in this field and what what should you believe what's coming out this guy's mouth now he did a big cringe on the shaman guy and gen six he did a because uh all these other U, U, ufo channels shield channels are getting him on there to interview him right <laughs> because he has an opinion on ufos right um it's probably not a good thing to promote uh yeah no it's all to do with trending and you know and trying to get subs uh, but for credibility of your channel it's probably not a good thing to have the shaman on although um personally i don't have any problem with the guy <laughs> i just think he was just a pawn and um, the whole thing was set up by the cia cia and the democrats right this guy claims to be middle voter you know i'm a middle voter but it doesn't mean I don't have opinion on other people's uh, pol politics, right? So, you know, he's he keeps calling people that like Trump uh, alt right, and I just find that offensive, you know. <laughs> so yeah, considering that he's a Cuban immigrant into America in the first place, uh, he seems to have a lot of opinion on things, right? Anyway fire news especially tupa no you haven't you've been in our spaces every fucking week you talked us up you said skyfire news is doing great things you said red and tuba are great guys that have been nice to you and now you flip the script everything you you're off. fucking saying is opposite of what you've been saying before lou reviews you think you're in a fight with Skyfire News, but that's wrong. Lou Reviews, you're in a fight with Lou Reviews two weeks ago because those <laughs> two guys are saying opposite fucking things. That's who this fight is with. Oh, and uh, Red Panda Koala <laughs> is so stupid, these names. It's just so wild, man. Oh, because Lou Reviews is such a great name. Keemstar, Tupa, Red Panda, Koala. Like, I mean, just listening to myself, I just feel like shutting off the stream and being like, this is so stupid. You know, Skyfire News. Then uh, that brings us to Skyfire News as an entity. Now, keeping my distance from this was... Which was kind of funny, because at the very beginning of this uh, rebuttal, it shows that Lou was promoting Skyfire News as a new credible source of ufo information <laughs> when it first came out and now because uh, the people he doesn't like are working for it is now out in it right um and he's getting caught out big time Ooh, look at that suckage look at that suckage stay hydrated people i don't follow tupa 
and I don't but, follow. But you've had Tupa on your show two times, and apparently he's an alt writer. <laughs> oh, RPK, and I have unfollowed <laughs> both of those guys over a year ago when I saw what Tupa. So if you're online, middle, if you're middle right, you're far right to go into Lee by the sounds of it, right? 2021 2022 i believe one of those years very recently like not a long time hey, ago Mike, when he was a you teenager with stupid thoughts in his head or you know part of some religious cult or no. so, uh, to be fair on? i don't actually know the date of when tuba put all these like horrible discord things so let me ask tuba are you in chat right now what was the general year that you were posting all the fucking racist edgelord shit in discord could you put that in chat or dm me on twitter because i'd like some clarity on that because i honestly don't know i don't know roughly when what the time for now um yeah i'm not sure about all the racist stuff right a lot of these youtubers went into that uh, to try and get subs, you know, uh, they, they use the N word and all that sort of stuff, um, just to create some drama, I guess. A lot of these YouTubers like to create drama and cause conflicts, and then they can talk about it and them being sued or whatever. So I think this guy did the similar thing, uh, and of course Lou doesn't like that. Yeah, but they apologized for it, right? Or they said it said it was part of of a um like a parody clip, right? I think he said his was parody or something like that. I, I suppose you could get away with um, doing bad stuff and call it a parody now, but does it work nowadays? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Do people lose their minds in ufology? Uh, sure do. And do they blab out and swear? And they sure do. And do they say things that they regret later? Sure, I bet they do, right? So do we forever class someone as racist, even though they may have apologized later? I don't know. It's really up to a personal preference, isn't it, I guess? Um... But yeah, we do know people do lose their minds and say stupid shit on lives and on public posts. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make it right, of course, but uh, people just get fired up, you know, if there's a riot or they see there's lies or they get wired up about a UFO video being legit when it's uh, faked or whatever. So this guy goes on about that the uh, frame of this stuff is. Um, uh, I'll get back to everybody on that in a second. These are his thoughts as an adult. And in these publicly posted rants and... At this point, I can say he believes those things and how you would feel emboldened enough to write something like that, but not actually... Yeah, so really, um, all that sort of racist stuff uh, that he accusing Kim Star of was like nine years ago or something, but yeah, I don't know. Does it make it right? So Lou does have a point, but uh, yeah, trying to um use that porn video was stupid because uh, they were the ones to expose it as a deep fake <laughs> so he got it totally wrong um turn around and go commit but really he's trying to destroy uh skyfire news here right to try and put people off it even though he recommended in the past uh he's trying to say that they're the bad people that they're running up behind the scenes but really, I just look at I just look at the posts, and then I just look at it at a middle standpoint that, yeah, some of it's legit. But if they're going to use, um, make claims that this is the latest UFO video without any 
analysis or links to what other experts had said about it, then it doesn't become very credible to me. And uh, I think the community itself, if they started putting up swear words and calling people names and stuff, the community in the end deals with it, right? Uh, they stop watching it, they unsub from it, which is basically what should be happening. You know, it shouldn't be uh, like a a net police that patrols it and censors it for you. Um, those people can exist in their own sort of echo chamber, and they will have all they will have a, like a following, uh, like neo Nazis or communists or whatever. But it doesn't mean that you have to follow it and listen to the garbage, right? And really, um, that's how it should work. And uh, then you can keep an eye on all these extremists out there. It makes it a bit hard if you censor them. <laughs> so to me, it seems backwards thinking. You know, the FBI wants these people to be public so they can keep keep log of what they're saying and uh, use it in court cases or whatever, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's my thinking on it anyway. There's good and bad in all races, all countries. Um, and you should always keep your wits about you. Even in New Zealand, as I pointed out earlier, um, not all people are nice and can act. And they can knock you, knock you on the head. Bit hate crimes? Okay, so... Tw okay, hate crimes, again, I talked about earlier that... It's sort of got sabotaged. And I think uh, Kimster probably knows that too. 2020, 2021 is when Tubo was saying all the fucking... <laughs> That's worse than I thought. Bro, here's the thing. Here's the most important thing about the fucking shit Tuba said on the Discord, right? Lou Reviews, Keemstar, and Tuba all agree that Tuba's in the wrong. And so does everyone else. So why are you weaponizing his fucking mistake that he took accountability for to win an argument that Skyfire News is bad all of a sudden because we covered a story that you didn't like? Why? Why are you acting in so fucking bad faith when you've had him on your fucking show? And you, you guys know the movie Nope? You, you know the movie Nope? Tuba's yeah. really into that movie, and I... Uh, I thought that was garbage, right? <laughs> I did a review on it. Like, a, like a, a ship's blanket in the sky. Nonsense, right? <laughs> I watched that movie because of Tuba, because he was gassing it up, and I thought the movie was fucking great. You know who else thought the movie... Yeah, I don't know if he's telling the truth there. Yeah. Who thought Nope was a effing good movie? I didn't. Uh, there's no comparison to Close Encounters, right? <laughs> He was fucking great and wanted Tuba's opinion on it. Fucking Lou Reviews. Lou Reviews platform. See, this is what I hate about uh, these type of talk shows that these, um, but like on table TV talk shows where they do these, uh, what's those guys' names? They do all their little pun jokes and they have little sound effects for it. I, I just hate that. <laughs> it's just so corny. All right, racist, homophobic fucking tuba. This is what I'm saying. Everything out of this guy's fucking mouth is horseshit. It's fucking bad faith. Yeah, well, I, I could see that he would want to defend someone that he's hired. <laughs> but uh, still, um, it's probably not the sort of person I would want to hire, even if he was like the best uh, video editor under the sun. So Lou has got a point here, right? But this is all the drama that's going on there at the moment. Edited, because this is edited, right, to kind of give us more of the meat of what Lou is saying about Skyfire News. I wish it wasn't edited. I wish we were reacting to the real fucking thing. Because I'm... world does not support this woke shit. It dies. Okay, no, let's go back but a bit. The, the, the Jan 6 shaman has never been on a fucking Skyfire space. And to be 100% clear on this as well, I had no clue who Keenstar and Drama Alert were 
on Twitter. <laughs> no clue. And so they created this. I heard them on a couple spaces, and then boom, all of a sudden it was Skyfire News. It is run by Tupacabra and Red Panda Koala. And those two guys come from an insanely alt right, anti woke culture that thinks is. Dude, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tuba and Red come from an anti woke culture. The whole world is anti-woke. Wake <laughs> up, Lou. Lou, this Pat is not 2020. Lou. We're not in 2020, bro. We're not. <laughs> We're not in 2021. All right. The government and and and, and the, the, yeah. the 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 just the lefties don't control Twitter anymore. Right. They're not. They're not fucking shadow banning accounts anymore. Right. They're not silencing people anymore. The world does not support this woke shit. It died. It died like two years ago. It's over yeah. for the woke shit. You're so far behind in the times. Now, it could be because you live in Hollywood. That makes sense. Yeah, California. The, the world in which you're uh, trying to describe to your audience doesn't exist. It did back in 2020. I remember People were getting canceled left and right. It, we were in an insane fucking yeah. social justice warrior cancel culture fucking world. That doesn't exist anymore. What are you talking about? We're not in that world. It's taking over the government. So now. Now, Lou was uh, invited to go on at the end of the show. He was in the side chats, I think, or posting comments. He should have gone on there and challenged them because... Um, it would have been really interesting, <laughs> but I think Lou realized he was on the losing foot. Forbes, Red Panda Koala, Hoopa, and now Kings. Yeah, I can't understand why you'd hire Aston Forbes. I really can't understand that at all myself, but, uh, yeah. Makes no sense whatsoever. Well, anyway, that guy is putting out garbage today on X about uh, the MH370 again. It just keeps on going and going and going. Star. Skyfire News. And so this leads to me going, okay. Because he's got 2.6 million followers. And this idea of like, that could be summoned on you at any moment. Like... I don't want that. I've already got you up on Twitter, man. That's that's a mosh pit within itself. I don't need an even bigger mosh pit of just whack. I didn't attack you with my followers. I tweeted directly at you, meaning the only people that could see the tweets were people that were following me and you. Yes. We'll see. I'll probably end up getting it. Um, and especially when it came to Tupa. So what he means there is. Uh when you tweet at the person you go to the uh, feed and then you do a post and it sends it to them rather than posting it on your feed directly all right there's two different ways of doing it so that means all your followers gets to see it you know like drama alert five million people get to see the post about the drama with lou reviews but he didn't do that he posted it directly to lou on his uh, feed, and so only his followers got to see it. Lou's followers, but that's what he means there. Quickly latching on to false narratives, and each one of those, it has been a few. The two I can think of is me personally, he attacked me and then had to do a, a reverse on that and apologize to me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just say, did he just say right here and admit that Tuba attacked him and then took it back and apologized? Because if that's true, that's the type of person I want to fucking hire, right? I don't want somebody doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on their fucking bad points. If someone gets something wrong or says something fucking wrong, I want them to correct the record. You think that's a bad thing, Lou? Let's find out after I've proven in this stream 
that Lou Reviews is a bad actor, that Lou Reviews has spewed nonsense, that Lou Reviews has made a fantasy fucking allegations and defamations against Skyfire News. I proved without a shadow of a doubt that he is wrong on multiple times and we're not even through this stream. Let's find out if Lou Reviews is the type of person that has respect for his followers on Twitter, has respect for his subscribers on YouTube. Let's see if he respects them enough to say, you know what, guys? I was wrong. No, he hasn't done that. <laughs> Anyway, I'll post a link to it and you can go and listen to the rest of it. It's quite uh, entertaining, if anything. Uh, yeah. But Lou keeps on going, unfortunately. And he's got more followers than I have. <laughs> but he should have. Uh, he got uh, Sondo on there, right? Lou reviews. Altered. <laughs> so yeah, that was the drama I was going to bring you a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, go and listen to it all if you want to see all the backstory. Uh, Waving to your mic, you can pop on if you're still around. Waving. I haven't seen him say anything. Uh, have I missed something? Um, let's just check. Who's out there at the moment? B right need bio. What's that? Voice link? No. Give me Discord. I wake up. Uh, wasn't in the real world. Uh, I think I'm in the real world. <laughs> it's just a crazy world we live in. Uh, so yeah, went to Mike. Hey Mike, are you there? Testing one, two, three. <laughs> uh, you can come on and talk now. Never sort of got through that. Yes, yeah, so I'll carry on. Um, yeah, so do some UFO stuff now. That was some of the drama. And uh, let's have a look at some stuff here. Uh, let's see. All right, I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is thanks to mostly Michael King, Shogun, and a couple of others that donated this year. Managed to get us over the... $1,000 mark for the lifetime of my channel from 20 November 2016 to now so that's tweaked up because we've got a few more donations there so thanks very much um, yeah of course you've got to remember a lot of the shills out there make that every video they produce so um, I'm no comparison to um to them and that's because i'm a truther and not a um believer and i don't just put up stuff for believers i put up stuff to try and find the answers in this field um where was that one there yeah, wasn't it get rid of that one now breaking news uh, yeah do we look at this one All right, talking about CIA, CIA infiltrating mil, mil, uh, countries, politics, but also in the UFO field. Um, this documentary came out on Netflix. I think it's quite interesting because it's not like a finished documentary. It sort of car uh, follows on from the guy finding out stuff, like he's researching stuff. But look I'd, how I do things, right? You go and interview someone, you get a bit of information, then weeks pass and you, you find some other documents that backs up what was said and you just keep on building on it. The documentary just follows this uh, journalist that's trying to research uh, the corruption 
and uh, gets pretty good once it gets up to episode three. Uh, but you need to watch all the other ones to be able to pin it all together. So basically, the the idea is um, the octopus murders is meant to be eight uh, people in the upper chain of CIA that are controlling things in politics worldwide, <laughs> especially in America and also in the UFO field. And one of those person is Bush Senior. So um, maybe he was in he was part of CIA. And it also brings in JFK assassination. So uh, it's quite interesting. Definitely worth uh, watching, streaming online or whatever you can find of it. And uh, spend the watch the four episodes one after another is the best I found. So I'll post a link to that so you can find it. So, you know, a lot of the stuff I recommend. Oh, I haven't, I've got to press something now. <laughs> oh, right, you get beat from new messages, so I don't want that. That would be annoying. Uh, still need that pop out thing, really, don't we? Um, so it's called the Octopus Murders. And it talks about how the CIA were running drugs to fun finance their influence in their own country as well as overseas and we've heard other journals uh, Jun junos come out with that information in the past too so it has a lot of credibility to what um is being said in it Yeah, I thought I turned that beep off. <laughs> um, I have to click it there. Is it? Oh, there we go. So I just wanted to bring that up. Um, don't know if we can play a clip without getting any copyright though. Uh, but yeah. Why is it not going there? All right, uh, what we're we doing here? That's right, Skyfly News. We're finished with that one now. I post a link to the Twitter there, though, if you want to have a look at it or subscribe to it. But again, take it as a pinch of salt. Uh, <laughs> don't take, take everything that's posted there as credible or fact-checked. Uh, just like everything else. But it has potential to be, right? Um, it, it doesn't matter who he hires, though. As long as they follow a, a format. Like I was saying, a link, a fact check link. A bit like community notes in that sense, right? Okay, we're finished with that one now. Uh, we've got a third phase of fake. We can, uh, we've got plenty of stuff that have been putting up. So yeah, we're going to some UFO stuff for the time being. So Black Vault's put out this thing here about the CIA document, because we're talking about CIA. That talks about flying saucers traveling at four, uh, 7,400 miles per hour in 1955. Now what was the fastest flying thing back then? Uh, not too much, right? Let's just find out What's the fastest uh, flying craft in, I, don't know, I, don't know. I think uh, Michael King must have had to dash off somewhere. Q 
Okay, what do we got here? The fastest commercial air plane in operation was Iconic British D Haviland Comet with speeds up to uh, 656 miles per hour. So that was the fastest back then. And Blackbird. Fastest aircraft, here we go. That's 56 day. That's getting up to 900 miles per hour. So yeah, it's like one, one seventh the speed. So that's quite amazing. Uh, more information discovered yet withheld by agency. So it hasn't been declassified fully then. Okay. The Black Vault attempted to get a CIA document that has been shrouded in secrecy for decades. So this is a thing with Arrow, right? Um, Arrow would have access to all this information that the Black Vault can find, so why hasn't that been brought out in reports? Including alien abductions. Well, the alien abductions, as I've been telling people in, in recent posts on my X account, uh, a lot of it's done by private organisations like ERT, and the government doesn't have access to the information. And this is the problem that I have with these private organisations. They seem to write books and uh, don't make everything public. Um, like MUFON doesn't make everything public as we know and they can keep cases open forever and they don't get released to the public and once they've been finalized well a lot of these cases never get finalized because the deductions keep on happening so there's no really a public source of information on abductions we haven't got ongoing stats information uh, you still can keep people's names uh, private but you, you could uh, at least get locations uh, how many people witnessed it, um, whether it was during the daytime, or twilight, or uh, sunrise, or whatever. We could find all that information and have it up to date, because Mick West has posted out something saying that, um, which I should have really added on for today's show, saying some crazy shit about abductions not being real. Um, but he hasn't even studied it, so this is a problem with debunkers. Once they fit a, their own agenda to it, I almost need a link to Mick West on that page, don't I? Since I've gone off track, I just want to bring it up <laughs> while I remember. This is a problem with debunkers making claims without doing any research. Alien abductions, is that really still a thing? Have there been any cases of this with evidence in the last 20 years? Yeah, mine. <laughs> i got evidence, but it won't be good enough for you, Mick, uh, and all the other clowns that follow you, like uh, Brian Dunnan. Um... And then he's saying here, turns out Kurt Patrick was talking about the Aquadilla back in NASA UFO meeting. It's going into the water, which we have shown it to not be the case. Well, I've shown it too. <laughs> Sense anomaly. So, yeah. So that's been verified by Arrow. So that's telling the truth. Uh, this is quite remarkable. Kurt Patra, the former head in Pentagon's Arrow, reveals that several of his colleagues in the intelligence community or military secretly held an entirely baseless beliefs in non-human UFOs, and they accused him of cover-up. This is the problem. Um, as I pointed out, he's not going to have access to all the information. 
especially these private organisations uh, where the government doesn't have their fingers in it. But uh, yeah, as we just look in here at the moment, in this case here, he probably hasn't got information to that's classified there, even. Because they can classify it above his level, can't they? So, yeah, Mix using Kirk is like, haha, I told you so. But one thing they haven't covered is alien abductions. Alright, okay, so let's just get back to this one here. Uh, so we don't travel off course too much. Uh, the Black Vault attempted to get a CIA document that has been shrouded in secrecy for decades, although no redactions were lifted in the process. It revealed that even more information by the CIA is withheld on UFO cases. Case that suggests a technology beyond human capability at the time, uh, which I just looked at, and yeah, it does seem to suggest that, doesn't it? Uh, Unless they had, in 1955, a drone that could go seven times faster than the, the current aircraft. It's a bit far-fetched, isn't it? Originally disclosed in 1978, the information report originally classified confidential has a subject hidden of unusual flying object sightings and attendant science activity. It had multiple but relatively minimal reductions redactions when the single page was originally released in January 2020. The Black Vault filed a mandatory declassification review MDR seeking to uncover more details and get those redactions lifted. Uh, the document ident identified as report number blah 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 details an intriguing account from a source in Hungary who in the winter of 1955 received a letter mentioning the mysterious flying saucers. These objects described as very really fast speeding flyers were estimated to be travelling at a speed of 12,000 kilometers per hour or in excess of 7-400 miles per hour 7,000 and a half continue scrolling <laughs> I am, I am although the MDR was unsuccess unsuccessful getting any previous redactions lifted the case did reveal that there was more information than previously known it brought to light the existence of two additional pages that were redacted in full. The deletions were made on the basis of sections blah blah blah, section blah of executive order blah establishes procedures for the automatic declassification of information that is more than 25 years old. Unless it falls under specific exemptions outlined in the order, uh, section 6.2 blah concerns the protection of information that is disclosed could reasonably be expected to cause identifiable or describable damage to national security or foreign relationships. So if it was like a secret uh, spy plane or spy drone that was spying on other countries and they revealed it then they could be upset I guess and they might be friends of those countries now <laughs> oh what a honeypot of things we live in a, a can of worms uh, allows for the continued classification of such information to prevent harm to national security isn't that what they said about the JFK stuff as well the revelation of these additional pages address a new layer of mystery to the case. It raises questions about what further information might be contained within and why it is deemed so sensitive. Couldn't you just block out the names of uh, the people or the countries in the document to uh, uncensor more of it though? You know what I mean? 
Oh, this technology was used to spy on countries and have it blacked out, right? <laughs> and never have that have that sort of um, covered up for God knows how many years after another hundred years or whatever, <laughs> seventy-five years. To put the reported speed of the flying objects into perspective, it's worth noting. So the question is, how did they get that speed? So that's the kind of information that we need to know whether it's going to be accurate or not. Uh, whether they got it on radar. And could it be a radar glitch? It's funny that um, they only use the radar glitch thing uh, when they want to debunk something, right? <laughs> it's worth noting that the fastest aircraft in the world I just looked it up too uh, American Super Saber that's not what we got in the Google search but anyway <laughs> they reckon it was uh, 1300 kilometers per hour or yeah well we just said in 1956 it had something below 900 miles per hour so there you go so it's still one seventh uh, speed uh, in the CIA record far exceeds the suggestion the suggestion that the flying objects were an extraordinary nature for the time they were seen. However, maybe they were not aircraft at all. <laughs> the CIA document did mention rockets. Now, we do know rockets do go very fast because it's got no people in it. And that's another question. What were the fastest rockets back then? In 1995. Because this is how you have to look up facts to debunk stuff. And if it doesn't fit the facts, then you can say it's an anomaly. Uh, something abnormal. Uh, X-15, was that back in 95 though? Was it a missile? Kind of looks like a missile plane, doesn't it? Uh, and that's getting up there. It's getting up to the speed. Mm, no, not really. That's kilometers, we want miles per hour. They got it in meters. Uh, there it is, four, so it's only half the speed. Uh, hypersonic rocket powered aircraft. Yep. That's what it, I said when I looked at the picture. So even that, but how about, how about uh, just a missile by itself? Because you don't have the person in front, you can go even faster, can't you? Let's see what else is out there. Space flights. Because before we went to the moon, that was 69, wasn't it? Uh, British built, 1000 miles per hour. 56 so they're getting the speed up so could some of those craft be exp uh, experimental but wasn't known at the time in 1955 so but still if that was the case we'd expect that to be closer to 8,000 miles per hour if it was like a top secret thing that only just come out in 1956 so we can rule that out, can't we? Uh, I thought I said rockets. Why is it coming up with planes? Let's uh, put that in quotes. Uh, airplane again. No good. No, rocket plane, no good. <clears throat> Bell X1, what's that one? Let's have a look at that one. That again is a rocket plane. That's no good. But it does look like it's going to be around about 4,000. 
half the speed um, at the time. Based on the X15, I guess. But I'm not happy still. Uh, I want to know what the fastest rocket was. Um, let's try 50s. Rocket sled. It's not really what we want. Uh, what rocket was launched in 950? Let's have a look. Launch of the first rocket from Cape Canaveral. Or... Okay, two stage rocket. So, what speed did that get up to? How fast was the V2? So that's 3,400 miles per hour. Is it infeasible to think that there couldn't be anything that goes at 7? Uh, that we don't know about? Not really. So it doesn't really put it out there as purely alien technology still in my book. Military rockets at five times. Okay, what's this one? That launched the space age. Fifty-seven. V two. Well, American version of it. <laughs> The race to recreate and prove the V2. And that's where Von Brown comes into it. I wonder if it's worth asking the Bing AI. <laughs> um, instead of us having to sift through pages of pages of information, I don't actually see the speed. Maybe I'm too close. There we go. So it's still talking about 1200 kilometers or 750 miles. So it's in that thousand miles per hour region still. But that can't be true. It's got to be something faster than that. <coughs> Uh, let's tr try and ask the Bing thing. That's, we haven't done that for a while. Hey, Mike, if you're not coming on, I'll just close it down again. I don't know what happened to uh, Michael. <coughs> Something happened, obviously. Uh, just say in the side chat uh, if you come back. Um, uh, where's the Bing bot? Yeah. Let's see what this comes up with. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it scrolls up as soon as I start typing. So the fastest um, rocket in 1955. That's not a rocket plane. It'll come back still with the same stuff, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, X-15 straight away comes up with a rocket plane. <laughs> Even though I said not a rocket plane. So it just shows you AI is not really AI. It's just... Uh, 
a language model it breaks it breaks it down like the program I wrote back on the eight bit micros that I demonstrated right it, it tries to figure out the English sentence and then retrieve the information based on what it thinks you're saying obviously the they don't understand my sentence rocket plane okay did I just see Mike comment um what's that Mike there we go my mother is sitting watching trannies teaching kids <laughs> thinking it's okay I feel out with her over it uh, okay <laughs> freaks yeah um yeah it doesn't sit right with many people Uh, so you took off. Uh, did you want to come back on voice? I don't know. But uh, yeah, we need to set up a separate channel to talk about all that sort of stuff to get it off your chest. Uh, but still, I think um, having worked with a lot of gay men uh, in the, the workforce, there's a lot of gays actually in IT, actually. Um, there's a lot of closet gays as well. Um they're okay, um, but they can be bitches, like super bitches, right? So they can be backstabby, I found. Uh, and they can have a, a big ego on them. And they they generally got high positions and the, the big earners in the, the in the field they choose. Whether it's bankers, so I had when I did cleaning, I had a a tranny, well, a guy in transist uh, transist uh, transition. I'm not sure if you're allowed to say tranny anymore. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean to say nowadays? Um, he was a boss. He was okay to deal with mostly, most of the time, but he had the, a super bitch nature to him. Um, I never got to meet him. Apparently, he walked around in uh, winkle pickers <laughs> and flowery uh, t uh, tops, and he sounded just like a woman. Um, when he phoned up, I thought it was a woman at first, uh, until he said what his name was. <laughs> and then other cleaners told me later that he's actually a guy. Um, but yeah, but I never really had really any problems with um, them doing anything obscene, right? Uh, But that's in the business side of things. You know, what they do in their private life, you don't know. <laughs> uh, my dad's certainly against uh, it. Uh, he thinks that the children need both parents. Um, but uh, he's from the 50s. <laughs> but I must admit, you get benefits from both parents um, growing up. But then you find your balance, you know. My dad's really 1950s, everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, he doesn't like all the stuff that you're talking about either, uh, Mike. <laughs> you and my dad would get on like a house on fire, I guarantee it. <laughs> but anyway, um, moving on. So we're trying to find out the fastest rocket back in 950. Um, so what it's got here. Uh, explore the upper limits of supersonic flight above Mach 2 and hypersonic flight above Mach 5. Uh, so yeah, only gets half that speed that they're talking about back in 950s. But still, uh, it brought up the same information I, could, I found with just a basic search there. Uh, I asked for rockets. Let's see if I can tell it off. <laughs> Not rocket plane. Let's see what he does with that. I apologize. 
let's focus on rockets. Uh, what's going on here? Why is it in a little window? So he's talking about the XL99 uh, rocket engine, which powered the X15. <laughs> So was that the fastest rocket engine though? Um, again, we're not really getting the answers, but doesn't mean to me it still doesn't mean that it didn't have a secret rocket in development that could just hit that uh, maximum speed. So I'm not happy. I'm still not happy with that. <laughs> um, so. We'll just carry on reading it anyway. Uh, what did Mike have to say at the end there? I bet uh, he sounds like the bomb mate. <laughs> Except uh, Jitsi Meeting. Okay, uh, you want me to start it up again? I might need to go to the toilet actually. Um, so we'll just do that and carry on. I am a wee bit of pain uh, with my neck today. Okay, he's back up. Um, just let you sit there while I'm just going to quickly dash to the toilet and then we'll carry on. Um, so yeah, you can you can you can, you can talk to the you can talk to the people, but try not to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I, I will not. I won't. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. I'm going to presume you can hear me. I'll just check the stream. Let me do a test. Test, 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 test. been reading up on the Jesuits recently. Holy shit. Man. These guys have been gone since the 1500s at least. And um, yeah, I've been manipulating world affairs since then. They created the Illuminati because they all get ejected from multiple European countries and they get ejected from the Vatican, and then they got accepted back in, so they're part of the Vatican. It's the Black Pope. Look into your history, man. These motherfuckers have been killing presidents, MPs, what have you, for centuries. These people have been... The Jesuits are behind the Illuminati and all these other conspiracy theories, things. They don't get involved directly. They're just the hand... They're called the Black Hand. The Black Hand. And they're satanic. It's scary. The more I looked into them, the more I, I, I... For the first time in my life, when I looked into them, I was like, I am actually a wee bit scared. These guys are so powerful. They control the world.
Nasıl? Okay, I'm back. How are you there? Have I lost volume? No, I'm still here. Okay, I can hear you. You don't sound very happy, mate. <laughs> nah, like, like I was saying in my chat, I've been looking into these Jesuits over the last month, and it's, it's actually quite scary. Mm. Uh, what are they doing? What have you found out? Simple topics. Cropped in world politics or what? What have they been up to? Uh, is he gone? Look into yourself, Paul. Um, Jesuits. Uh, Jesuits are behind. Jesuits created. Yeah. Jesuits created the Illuminati because they got ejected from like 20 countries, they got ejected from the Vatican, and then they went underground, they created all these sub-parties mm. and all the rest of it. Yeah. Well, what, what, were they like Christians, the uh, Jesuits, and what was their religion, the, the main religion? Because it sounds yeah, like the, a the, the many. Yeah, what's okay, yeah, okay. they're, 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 they're many be part of the Christian faith, right? So they hold, yeah, they, they, they hold true to the original Christian faith, yeah. where if you do not, that's bow, what I thought. Yeah, they're very core to the Christian faith, but when you look into it, they don't actually support Christianity, they're, they're Satanists, basically. Oh, yeah, that's the sort of thing Mike Dice talks about, isn't it? Um, he used to talk a lot about that, but he sort of moved on a bit from that, hasn't he? He's sort of more into politics now. Uh, but he's written a few books on the Illuminati and uh, what's that? Uh, Cosgrove or whatever it's called, uh, where they do the devil worshipsen and sacrifices. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's sort of like the sort of thing you see on uh, Eyes Wide Shut, isn't it, uh, movie. Um, we just don't know what is actually going out there in these little cult movements, secret uh, meetings. But uh, as we know, there's a lot of sick humans and... Uh, Sick humans get a cult following quite easily. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what was the Black Vault? I was talking about the rockets here. Yeah, I just thought you might want to be talking about stuff that I've been going over today so far. That's all. But uh, yeah, what you want to talk about is really could throw it into open the open lines uh, one, I guess, as long as it's long as you can safely talk about it to, without causing too much problems with the overlords <laughs> that control our free speech. Um, yeah, you don't have to stop talking when I talk, um, unless you've got some problem going on there. It should, it should mix our voices together. Uh, what are you on at the moment? The smartphone, is it? Not the desktop. I think the desktop works a lot better uh, through, through the Chrome than the, the app itself. Uh, who we got out there? Uh, it's just it's you in the side chat. I haven't seen anybody else. So let me just do a check around, see who's on Twitch. Anyone on Twitch? Is that going all right? Uh, I don't think anyone's actually posted any comments here. This one, so it's just me, is it? So I'm not sure what's going on today, but no one wants to join us on Twitch today, which is a bit of sad. But it's up there. Um, Odyssey, we got anyone there? Again. 
just me there. <laughs> no one's interested in the real stuff. And uh, Rumble. Must be a few people in there. Normally there is. Uh, reckons we've got seven, I think. Oh, eight. I've got eight there. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, pop on side chat and we'll get to see you uh, mentioned on the global chat on my capture screen. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Pilt. Have we got any on Pilt? Um, 33 have popped past and uh, looks like I might have to reload that. Let me just reload it. Let's see what we've got going up there. Um, we've got uh, four likes. Well, four likes, 33 views. <laughs> Okay, and uh, looks like we've got some new followers as well, which is good. Oh, over there. I've got to press the wrong button, haven't I? Okay, there we go. Back to it. Um, they're changing things there all the time too. Uh, why's it gone there though? Let's pause that. Ah, so let's just get back to this. Yes, yeah, so I've updated this here. I think we might have a new sub account. Sub counts. And that's slower now. Everything's slow. There we go. Is it updated? What have we got there now? I don't know. I, I thought it said it had a new follower. Maybe we lost some at the same time. <laughs> now it looks like it's pretty normal there, isn't it? Uh, not much movement on the subs. Anyway, uh, thanks for subbing. Um, yeah, so we got to this article about this thing in CAA document. Uh, he's talking about the V2. So it looks like he's done some similar research to what I did for the article. <laughs> So he too has found out there's nothing that sort of matched that, but it doesn't mean there wasn't any secret rocket testing going on. But still, uh, why wouldn't they have the fastest rockets on the X-15 then? So, but there is a connection. The Redstone rocket believed to be the fastest rockets around the same time still fell thousands of miles per hour short of the speed so that's what we found uh, getting up there, there, there to 5,000 miles per hour but it's still uh, not 7,000 miles per hour uh, what, what's the source of information available in the report wrong or grossly exaggerated yeah exactly uh, if so why is there a need for such extensive excessive for I me mean, uh, sequencing nearly 70 years after the event the MDR case was complete and documented released in January 2022 though it was never posted on the black vault this is one example of literally hundreds and hundreds of FOIA releases that have yet to be put online by Black Vault simply due to backlog and lack of time. Uh, since two years have no elapsed, a new MDR was filed by Black Vault on 12, 12th of March 2024. Those results will be posted when available. 
So, yeah, it's the sort of thing that uh, could easily be uh, done through Arrow, right? So that could be one case they could bring forward, plus hundreds and hundreds of other ones, obviously, he's talking about there. And why hasn't it been done? Now, they've got a website set up for it, so they could easily post the case there, still under investigation, still under investigation. And they could put more up there and then uh, and, and have all the investigators look at all the information they got through the government and took them one off by one if they've been solved or still unknown. And we'll get a more complete picture then. But that's not happening, and that's the problem with Arrow. So it's just another Project Blue Book, as people were claiming, Project Blue Book version 2. So, yeah, lucky we got uh, this guy on our side from Black Vault, uh, sifting through all those horrible documents which are terrible to read. <laughs> So I can understand that. Uh, well, it's it's not like the scanned in, and you can just do a keyword search. But I suppose the first thing would be to scan them all in. So you could do a search, right? Or you could use some sort of AI search program that you could write yourself, especially for it. Uh, have we lost Michael again? I oh, know he's still there. Something wrong with the microphone? Are you still there, Mike? We've got problems again. I've got so with the microphone for some reason. Um, anyway, no, I'm so here. I'm so here. Okay. Are you playing game at the same time? <laughs> I know you. I know. Okay, we can just get rid of that one now. I post a link to it in case you want to. Uh, look at the other things he's got up there. Um, CIA. So, uh, being CIA, it would have to be to do with spying, wouldn't it? So there must be a reason for it to be locked up still. Spying in other countries. So if you've got a fast thing that can go on upper atmosphere and just take continuous photographs, uh, maybe that's what it was, some sort of secret experiment, but still twice, well, not twice, but uh, 2,000 miles per hour faster than anything that was available at the time. So, yeah. Uh, maybe they saw this thing why they were spying on another country. And uh, that could be another possibility. So it could be a UFO craft, right? But they were spying on the country when they captured it. And of course, that would be in the document. But there's no reason why they can't black that out. So I just think it's all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Mm, there we go. Um, uh, what's this one? Okay, we got this one here. Let's look at this one now. A lens flare. Why did he turn off the comments shells for you? Okay, so this video here. Look, see what you think of it, and I'll go over it. So, to me, it's really suspicious, this one. <laughs> okay, we've got the sun up here behind the clouds. Now, as you know, when you point a glass lens of a camera, even in a smartphone, 
uh, you get these things called lens flares and it forms the shape of the lens which is convex and that looks like a convex shape there and it's also on that particular angle that you get when you get sun flares right and what he's doing here is he's rotating the camera backwards and forwards not left and right which is changing the angle of the lens uh, further away from the sun see how, how he zooms in with the digital zoom whenever you get digital zoom as well uh, it does some strange things with the movement of especially false images uh, but also planes as you know you can actually make a plane look like it stops in the sky and goes backwards uh, with digital zoom because it's editing the video in real time like you would do on a PC offline right um, and of course it's feeding in new information into that while it's uh, trying to calibrate its changes to the video with the digital sync so it's actually zooming in on pixels while the pixels are also being modified in real time so what it does is he, he angles it so uh, I'll just draw a picture on that one Da, 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 da. So you got you got your smartphone. Has it come up yet? <laughs> yeah, sort of. So he's got the smartphone. Uh, let's say we're looking at the back of it. So you have your camera, whatever, whatever side it's on. And uh, if he goes backwards and forwards, right? Uh, tilting it. Uh, we would see that but he also can tilt it this direction as well so the sun's coming in on this angle here to the lens and if you tilt the phone that direction it's going to change the light falling on the glass lens and it's going to make it stretched All right so it starts over a circle and when you turn it just so slightly even just a few pixels while you're doing a digital scene it will form a, a shape like um, like that right more of a tic tac shape uh, so if we go back to it uh, that's what's happening so obviously you knew you was faking it here Now that sudden movement there was to do with the digital zoom that he's doing. He's zooming in. He's angling the phone a wee bit, changing the shape, and then uh, mucking around with the digital zoom there. You can see he's tried to. You can see the edge here how much he zooms in, right? He's zooming out. And then just slight movement while it's on digital zoom and it makes it look like it's moving. Now we get ones like that all the time. Um, and of course he replied to it saying comments are on but in my group UFO evidence only hub. And I said I see no evidence. <laughs> Uh, so he's misleading people. Uh, okay, so what do you think is happening in this video? And Lensphere doesn't go behind clouds. You still be able to see it, but uh, I like your opinion, bud. Uh, I see it. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> see, this is what I hate about. Uh, it's only showing one comment here, not both comments. You have to click on that one to get the both comments. Uh, X sucks, man. I said it doesn't go behind. Uh, he's just turning the phone so the lens reflection vanishes. That's why it's uh, stretching uh, shape. 
and some digital scene there. The film, firm, f- firm, and firmware can do odd things when using that in motion. I know an artifact you can make planes stop in the sky. Blah blah blah. I really should have found them a link of a plane stopping, but uh, there are a few. Um, but uh, whether I can find it on Twitter, I don't know. Plane. Uh, digital soon. Let's see. Uh, Mick West would have some, and also, um, yeah, for interest. But what keywords would they have used as the question? Not those ones, <laughs> but I probably typed it. Typed it in. Am I wrong? Uh, so playing film behind trees. Here we go. So this looks like one example. Uh, with a digital zoom and erratic camera motion, can create what some people call tic tac UFO. So here we go. Behind trees proved it was not a plane. So to illustrate what was happening here, I waited for a suitably behind trees proved it was not a plane. Okay, so there's more to that, obviously, from Mick West. Now, that's what can happen. That's what we saw in that video, right? So to illustrate what was happening here, I waited for a suitably behind... But you, can't, you can remember that it's, it doesn't have to be a left and right motion. It could be a tilt to cause that. So tilt, tilt slightly backwards or forward while your digital zoom in uh, can do the same effect. Uh, here's the full video here, bollocks of it. So showing you that planes can look like tic tacs. In 2017, a Navy pilot was widely reported as describing a UFO. Okay, we don't want to go through all that again. Described as tic tacs when they was moving oddly behind trees, proved it was not a plane. So to illustrate what was happening here, I waited for a suitable plane. Here's Alaska Flight 2425. Firstly, the lack of wings. If we zoom in on the video, we can see there are actually no visible wings. But if we get a better camera and zoom in, we can see that there actually are wings. You just can't see them in the phone video because of the low resolution and the use of digital zoom. Wings are nearly always in shadow, so they fade into the sky far quicker than the brightly lit fuselage. Secondly, the odd movement. And the telfin. This is camera movement. If there's trees nearby and you are filming a plane, then it will eventually go behind a tree. To keep it in shot, you move the camera. This makes the plane move relative to the tree. This effect can be compounded by digital zoom, which applies image stabilization to the video, keeping the tree from moving around in some portions of the shot and enhancing the illusion that the plane is rapidly moving around. Since this plane here has a contrail, we know it's not rapidly moving around, and the tree certainly isn't, so all this motion comes from the camera. Of course, not having the contrail just makes the illusion even more apparent. Here's a small plane at 10,000 feet. Here's the shot with the big camera. Note the wings are dark as they are in shadow. Here's the iPhone video on full digital zoom. I'm moving the camera, and the camera is stabilizing, so it's minimizing the movement of the tree, creating a very dramatic apparent motion for the plane that you could easily be forgiven for thinking was some kind of advanced technology craft. But it's just a plane lit from above and a low resolution moving camera. He's not doing as good a job as the other guy though. Keep it more still, right? But uh, it's the same principle. Uh, yeah, I should post that link to that guy. Since we found it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, we've lost it now, have we? Uh, have a look. But, uh, he's tilting. 
not left and right motion. Uh, all these things we have to learn uh, to analyze videos, right? And we know someone's fooling us. So yeah, that was that one. Easy peasy, I thought, but uh, yeah. I can see how people can be fooled by that stuff uh, if they don't understand technology. Uh, did you want to add anything to that one, Mike? Mike? Mick Mike, I should call you Mick King. <laughs> you can be the, the debunker and I'll be the truther. And now we just need a believer on the side chat as well. <laughs> I mean on the voice. Um, no thanks. <laughs> Subscribe to MUFON. <laughs> no thanks. So, uh, yeah, what was he blabbing on about? That's another UFO video from Third Phase. So we'll look at that one now, I guess. Uh, the problem is we need to open it up in a incognito or private window. And I've added this add-on here so you can right-click and say... Um, what is it disappear to though? See, it always goes to remember. It doesn't remember the T thing off the URL thing. They haven't fixed it up, and it always remembers when you last watched it. Uh, and Winning. Okay. Thanks, Charlie. Oh damn it. So the DoD recently just stated, just within the past 24 mm. hours, that. There's no proof of extraterrestrial existence or any kind of tech. Oh, get rid of that idiot. Okay, we want it in the other window, in the correct place. And may. may. Winning. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Ed, was it? Just shrink that back down there. Yeah. Okay, this one here. Um, probably look at the other ones that I've got up. Uh, where's he begin? Looks like it's in the right place. Okay, yeah, so what do you think of this one? Apparently it's... Um, if you know anything about Third Face, um, they filmed a lot of these themselves. They faked a lot of them themselves, claiming it to be from South America. Uh, this is meant to be from a guy, even Mexico or South America, I'm not too sure, that's filming it through a skylight of the house. And he doesn't show any reference points, which is like a red flag in, in most of our books. Thanks, Charlie. So the deal... So, um... You can see it's we got no reference points. We've just got a grey sky cloud color. Recently, just stated just within the past twenty four hours that there's no proof of extraterrestrial existence or any kind of technology within our asset. Now you see how it shakes around there. Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, if he's filming this thing, why hasn't he not got it on a tripod, right? It's our foreign adversary asset. So what the heck are we looking Looks like... It almost looks like fake uh, CGI with a fake shake, doesn't it? Looking at. Come on! We're looking at something that still, in my opinion, it's been making the rounds over the past couple days. These videos. We've got multiple... Uh, it's not been making the rounds. It's only been making the rounds on new shield channels. Angles. We're going to be covering the DOD and their statements, along with incredible new UFO. So look at the shake. Uh, it's just crazy. UFO videos coming into third phase of moon. So it's a wild ride tonight. Everybody buckle up. But we're looking at something in broad daylight. You it's buckle up. It's not as clear as it gets when it comes to UFO in my opinion I don't see any kind of manipulation there's a phenomenon happening and it's real right now in the DOD uh, so why would it be wobbling the Pentagon why would he be says, wobbling it 
don't even bother looking up anymore. There's nothing to... See, when someone wobbles like that, it straight away tells me that they're trying to hide something. And often that is a, a fishing line. Uh, if you wobble it around, it makes it really hard to spot fishing line. Uh, so this, to me, looks like it could be... Some, some car parts uh, on a fishing line. And part of the wobble... Uh, it's just trying to disguise it on a fishing line. Do worry about. That's not We're what alone they in said. The now the problem is, is it moving with the background of the clouds at yeah, all? Yeah, like this um, is pretty incredible. The footage that's been coming into third phase moon. Oh, it's credible. Is it Brent? That's what you say to everybody, video, mate. For over a decade, it's just off the hook, and everybody's. Uh, uh, has their own encounters. So to me that looks like it's being suspended on a wire, right? Uh, that's my gut feeling at the moment. We all know what we're talking about and for the Pentagon just to come down and say uh, that there's nothing to He's do. using the damn fishing wire. <laughs> this, this is a big joke. Uh, again, we're looking at footage from Yuri, a guy from Columbia that has multiple... So now, is he moving the fishing wire or is he just moving the camera angle? So it looks like it's moving towards, you know, if you change the angle of the object that's closer to you to the sky, it looks like it's moving in the sky. Sightings, the and we're, we're showcasing them right now. It's kind of uh, coming up to light. To me, it's got a slight lean going on here. It's got to be a fishing wire going up here. And again, is this a real deal? In my opinion, we're looking at something uh, incredible. What do you think you know, of? Oh, we'll hear Apollo in a second. What do you think about this? Now you can see box. here, although I don't think in Kinita I've got all the plugins that turns it off, doesn't it? We can't uh, run a filter for it, but you can see here, kind of looks like what they used to do in the past with their fakes. Uh, car parts, that kind of looks like it could be a thermostat from a car or something like that. Uh, so are they the ones faking it, is the question. <laughs> um, more than likely. And it's on a fishing wire. Let's just keep on going. I like a legitimate you and that's another reason to film it on an overcast day. That If you get the sun that glints off the fishing wire, it gives it away. UFO here. It seriously. And you can see it, it's not even in focus. Uh, not even attempting to get it in focus. It really looks like it's in the sky. When I press play and they back away, are we getting anything that shows referencing like trees in the background, a building? Dude, we've got some clouds. Now, about are it. we seeing any uh, landscape? Let's take a look. Interesting about because if we don't see any landscape, I'm calling the whole thing into question. Oh, it's got too a good to be true so far. <laughs> this one to me is that it, it seems like a dish shape when you look at it from this angle. Oh, you think it's a dish shape? Really? I'm super to you. <laughs> well, it looks like there's something under it, maybe like some sort of way that yep. causes it to come on back out, you know, have some sort of anti you know, gravity technology. Look but, at it move. It move see the angle there. The angle as it turns tilted up. Moves up and then it almost seems like a black orb. So no. I don't know. This is definitely oh, really black orb. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on. She's a dumbass redhead, airhead. On the sun angle and uh, yeah, it looks like a black orb. Yeah, it looks like it's on a piece of wire, eh? <laughs> orb. She's right, but it, you can still see the inner circles and stuff. And especially here. I don't know, man. Like a round orb to me. I'm so, saying it's bullshit. It's really interesting. Too good to be true. Yeah, it's got to be. It looks like drone. See, unlike the, the what he's saying and what I'm saying, at least I'm telling you how it's being faked. Uh, he's saying, I oh, don't know, but he's got a gut feeling it's fake, you know, but you got to be able to have the skills to be able to say why it is fake. And that's the difference between Goofon and me. Uh, but as we know, he's a shield promoter. He promotes uh, third phases, legit videos, and saying they um, say if they don't know whether it is real or not. Makes gives them the pass, you know. 
Uh, but I reckon they're probably faking this one themselves. Because they've done it in the past, exactly like this. It looks like a drone moving around. Eh, wrong. It's more likely to be a button on a fishing line. <laughs> right now, check it out. It does. Yeah. Yes. It's a drone. We never see... It's not a drone. It from if it was a drone, we would have seen... Um... That it would, would would have been longer. It would have been one of those ducted fan ones because it would have to have a single fan in the middle. Um, we don't see the fans around the outside. That's not a drone. Far out, right? It just starts. We never get any reference points. Okay, this is going to be a second video from the same hoaxer. <laughs> we don't get to see the background. I'm calling this out. No. See, he's all over the place. One minute he's singing this, and the next minute he's saying this. I'm saying it's fake from the beginning. <laughs> and I'm just looking for more clues that develop, uh, verifies my feeling on it. It looks terrible. Oh, right? It looks fake. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good, clear... I had one. No. Let's see if oh. I can zoom in on it. I don't think that's real. Yeah, it looks like a speaker cone. <laughs> no, it's even looks like a car thermostat, I think. Uh, this is so happy. Can we see the wires ah, yet? Uh, sometimes the wires do pop out, and sometimes oh, they make a mistake. Right Keep playing it, you fool. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. What's up, that UFO chick? Thanks for hanging out for a minute. Come on, keep playing it. If I fast forward, I'll probably lose my Oh, there's place. another one here, so let's take a look. Alright, here's that? the other one. Alright, so this this one here is in more light. So this one's more likely to show the fishing line. So it's from the same guy. So let's see what happens. See that? We've got a lot more light saturation. Still the same out of focusness. Is that it? That's the same craft? This one to me is that... It yeah, it looks like the you, same so I don't know. model. <laughs> oh, this is a different one. We're looking at it, and it's Duh. interesting. And we even have audio recording. It sounds legitimate. Oh, yeah, that's... That sounds real legit, Blake Cousins. <laughs> it, sounds... it looks like the same... I don't, I don't think it's even spinning. Um, it's definitely moving around like it's on a piece of wire same anyway. Object, right? Look, look, see how it went on a, a pen, uh, what do you call it? Um, paradolic. What do you call it? Pendulum. Pendulum there. If you went frame by frame. Let me just see if I can get that. See that there? See the curvature? It's on a wire. See that? God, I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> hey! I just saw a flash of light. Was that the cable being shown up by the sun? Uh, maybe not. Might be that pause button getting in the way. I'll just keep on playing it. What's this on top? You see this? Okay, he spotted something. I can't quite see it on my screen. Now this is where we need uh, the filter thing, so we might have to go back and sell it. Uh, get your cursor out the way, you dork. <laughs> That's what I said, you got to do frame by frame. Sometimes you get a flash of the light on the cable. I'm not sure what he's seeing though, I, I can't see anything. It says cursor. <laughs> okay, I can't see what he was saying there. Like an antenna. There was a there was a flash there though. I just saw a flash. So let's just go back. Is it a glitch in the player? This is why we need the original videos. We can play it on VLC and whatever. There it is. See there? 
there's a flash of the fission wire and it's on the angle I told you see because it goes up like that remember <laughs> busted now look you can see that it looks like it's on the right angle it looks like a spider web going this way see that you can see it reflecting off the wire and even Goofon noticed it, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, he doesn't normally notice stuff like that. See that? Yes, we do. Uh, I wonder if we can get the filter on that, because that might show it up. Uh, so what? One hour five. Uh, let's just close that down. That one's definitely busted, though. Faker, uh, Faker, uh, what's his name? I'd address this, uh, all send him nasty letters. So, um, we know it's on, on this one. We need to get the day footage one first, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Here it goes here. One... Those five it was, wasn't it? Can we get there? Is a question. <laughs> one o five, one o five. The cursor's over it. Great stuff. <laughs> My eyes is not that good. Yeah, we can't get it. I guess the cursor goes over it when I want to select it. No, well, we'll just have to play it from there onwards and just stop it again. Uh, go full screen, maybe. Oh, then won't get the controls, will I? Um, is that bigger? Slightly bigger. Well, there's another one here, so let's take a look. See that? No. That it? That's it. So let's have a play with this one. Probably need to get the wire. Yeah, I have to probably wait for the wire. But we probably need to use some extreme filter like that. And it'll probably pop out. Can we see anything on this one? We know the wire's going in this direction here. On that angle there. Yeah, let's just play it from that one. <laughs> That's the same crap? This one to me is that it's orb to me. So, I don't know. It's... Oh, this is a different one. We're looking at it, and it's interesting. And we even have audio recording. It sounds legitimate. Bello, 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 bello. Oh, yeah, that sounds... It looks like the same object, right? What's this on top? You see this? Okay. He said he could see something there on his big screen, but I can't. <laughs> Um, and when he paused it, puts it over the top there. <laughs> it's like an antenna. Fun. Antenna. You know, you think someone that's been in uh, this field of research would know... Uh, if you get a spot of light above, it's going to be reflecting off some fishing wire, wouldn't you? Not an antenna. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Are uh, you still there, Mike? You want to add anything to this one? See that? That's the cool. Yeah, it's definitely moving like it's on a wire. What is that? Ah, oh, there, there it is. I just saw it. There it is. <laughs> now, can we amp it up a bit? Let's give it a try. Yeah, 
This goes to show he could even film this and muck around with what I'm doing here. Remember the other one that looked really grey? Well, basically, that's what we can do too. We can make it look grey and hide that fishing wire. And there it is. Uh, I thought we might be able to get some more of it show up long ways. Um, it's down to pixel level though, isn't it? Let's see. There's a, uh, look at that, a little antenna. I think it's no, connected. It's I see. I think I see a line. I'm gonna let it play out. I just. He sees a line. How about above it? <laughs> In fact, that looks like a line going up there too, doesn't it? Just had to stop that and check it out. In fact, this is how you normally do these ones. You have a line going horizontal, like that there. So you have a fishing line going that way normally, and normally you have a fishing line from the model to over the other line, and you control how it goes up. Remember I did that demonstration? How to fake the other video that we looked at? Very similar uh, videos. with using fish, three fishing lines. And you can make it zoom off very quickly. Uh, whereabouts was it now? <laughs> it's amazing how many videos I put up. Hmm, polygon pasta. Uh, I think it might have been a short, was it? Short? I'm not sure now. I thought, I thought I did it properly though. I'm not sure now. Too close, Paul. Too close. Guys, how long ago did I do it? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So I could make all sorts of UFOs. Look at that thing. That would make a perfect UFO. <laughs> I could make my own fakes uh, from a camera dome. Maybe it was a short after all. Uh, so many, so many things here though. Maybe it was a while ago now. <sighs> What's that the one? No, that's Charlie again. Too many Charlie videos. <laughs> you think I'd better find it quickly, but... Uh... It's not that easy sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I can't find it, but you remember I did it on 
on a tripod with some uh, clipped uh, cable, which is really thin. It was to um, Kevlar cable. Sure, I uploaded it as a video. Um, just have a quick look again. Because there'll be some newcomers that probably haven't been following me and, and probably wonder where I get all the things, uh, things from, where I try to duplicate things. To show you how it's done. EMF. Uh, yeah, it was way after all that, surely. Has Google removed it? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, they silently remove things sometimes. No, I don't see it. Uh, what can we search for? Um, string. Uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is. It's annoying when you can't find what you're after. Um, so we just have to move on, but it'll be quickly easy to find it. Mm. String, uh, Kevlar. Uh, where bets was it? Uh, Puerto Rico. Where was the hoax being done? Columbia, somewhere like that, wasn't it? Hmm. Model. Mm, that's my TR3 model. <laughs> that one comes up. Duncan Carlos Diaz. Yeah, colored glass. Um, no, not that one. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it looks like I should have put some more keywords with it. No, it looks like I'm not going to find it. I think these guys can remember it though, in the side chat. Um, it was about six months ago, I think now. <laughs> it could be a fair distance back, actually. Uh, Kev, Kev, Kev. That's how um, Myers does his fakes as well, with a horizontal uh, fishing wire. Uh, was that the one? No, it can't be that. No. Uh, could be in the playlist, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Oh, well, I uh, have to pass on that one. But yeah, can we see the cable? I'll we'll keep on going. Oh. Yeah, there that's connected to it, this thing. 
and above. <laughs> Can we muck around the filters a wee bit more? Oh, what happened there? Let's look at reset. More brightness. Contrast. Saturation can bring it out. Invert. Going on there though. Can't seem to get it. Uh huh, they get the reflections there. Yeah. It's got his kiss next to it now. And it looks to be flashing every now and then. Here's a red. And um, what's flashing to you? It's a reflection of the sun or something that's uh, not meant to be captured on film, ish, obviously. Green ish. So we think there's a war again along here. And it's over top of it, and it probably comes down on an angle where, that he's holding, and it looks like it might be. If I just saw it. Uh... Normally, it would come down from it where he's releasing it up and down. Pretty poor video, though, isn't it? Right? And it looks like the same craft we just saw. I see some inserts here, maybe. Dividers of some sort. Maybe that's where the, the bridge is. Uh, All right, let's hear them. Uh, going back before. Listen. It plays music? <laughs> now it's them trying to put copyright on it. What? Yeah, it should be Alton Blake Cousins right here for putting music on when they're saying, listen to the background. Is it got music? What a dickhead. <laughs> they need to There's turn the music, music off for this. I don't know. Music box, yeah, they didn't. Why aren't you blowing them up? You should be cursing and swearing them for doing that. What I'm to, I'm listening for. Is it what that me? What I find interesting right. about these three separate UFO videos captured from the same location by the same person, but at different times, it seems that there's three different craft. This one is just, it seems like it's kind of like a. Uh, this proves they're not experts because it's definitely fishing what in there. Okay, so uh, we're done with that turkey. Now, did he, um, did he do other ones at the end here? I think he did, which may not be third Nickel, phase. Let me just have a quick look. That's what he does. <laughs> third phase. Um, Again, it looks very really similar to what we were just looking at. Is that the same one? Uh, called it fantastic. Looks like another thing on a piece of fishing line here. <laughs> Look at the angle of it here, you know. This is typical of fishing line. 
Uh, what happened there? Isn't in a hundred percent focus. That's why that's a little blurry. No, that's very blurry, and it looks like the same thing we we're watching. Yeah, it's a little out of focus. Is that third face still? Um. Oh, look at this piece of crap. Okay, let's play this one. <laughs> I don't think that's third phase, though, is it? But it's the sort of thing they would do. Is the Empire attacking? It, it looks like the dust. It... Um, Mike, you still there? <laughs> um, you're very quiet. You're still fighting with your mother. <laughs> Uh, Dingberry Finn reminds me of the videos that an Italian man hoaxed years ago using buttons on glass. Yeah, um, that's what I thought it was going to be, actually. But no, it's definitely on Fish and Wire, that one. Um, thanks for joining us, YouTube. I was hoping to see that we had some people from Rumble comment on the side come through. Uh, Michael, where are you going again? <laughs> Have I missed something here? Uh, the, uh, the hidden hand behind all the negative stuff going on. Is that the Illuminati? Or the CIA? Or third phase of the moon? They're all, they're all part of the negativeness uh, to getting the real truth out there. It's creating all this nonsense noise that we have to go through. Anyway, uh... There's a lot of gay mates. <laughs> There's a sign of the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. We should be able to say whatever words we want and uh, live happily ever after. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not for sale. I will do as I wish. You will need to kill me to stop me. <laughs> that sounds very serious, Mike. I bet this sounds like the bomb. Okay. Uh, interstellar tonight about dimensions. <laughs> He's back on dimensions. Uh, but you better be on voice chat <laughs> anyway. But, um, yeah, let's have a look at this one. I'll just go full screen on it. Have we got the right place? Uh, it's these guys that he's playing. I don't know whoever they are. Any more. I'm trying too hard. Go. All right, here it is, Riley. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed already. <laughs> Well, uh, so at least he spots this one as being potentially fake. <laughs> uh, so you can see it's a wee bit washed out there. It looks very really much like cookie cutter, doesn't it, uh, CGI? It's actually very really similar to what uh, Secure Team edited years ago. And he had one like that, claiming it was a TR3B filmed over Area 51. Uh, but he had a wee bit more skills than, obviously, whoever created this one. Uh, he used a, uh, a kitchen um, a light rack for the lights in the middle. It had a bit of a curvature going on to it. But, uh, yeah, I have covered that in the past. But this looks very much like a secure team test run. <laughs> Claim he received it from people, of course, just like third phase do. So it won't be too hard to mask that out, um, so it can pass behind. Whatever that is. It seems to have this funny lift up thing. If we go step it, see it goes up. And then down. Uh, 
I'm going to be going backwards. But it's not going backwards. Why is it not going backwards? Giggle, you're messing up. Terrible video. See how it sort of goes up and then drops down. Funny hand movement. Some funny editing going on there. Is the Empire attacking? It, it. Now you can see that it's, it's gone into a darker, I mean a lighter background where there's a lot more light. You expect this thing to be reflecting light. Uh, instead it just looks like a black cutout, right? If it was a real object, it would have like a uh, moon or whatever it is that they're filming through. If it's daytime, I'm not sure. Overcast. Should be a change in some of the light patterns happening. It looks like the dust. It looks like it, Star it, it looks like something out of Star Wars. I mean, yeah. it really, it really does. But like, uh, I think that would be an insult to Star Wars. They do a lot better than that. That's but about, like, it, it's, listen. Now that's as clear. That's as clear of a footage that you're ever gonna get. And play it again. Clear as footage. See how it went upwards there, and it does it again after uh, there and there. Someone Look. Says it's a TR3. Now, did the camera move through the whole frame when that happened? So there's something strange going on here, look. TR3B? See so how it goes up what and is, down. What the hell is that? Whatever that is. Yeah, it's got strange movement. So I mean, it's it moves, so it's, CGI. It's moving weird right it's there. Moving weird. It makes me think it's CGI or somebody... You think so? <laughs> yeah, CGI. Oh, it's a clue. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> Come on, spit it out. <laughs> no words. He should have said a poet. It's beautiful. You idiot. For CGI. It should be... Uh, you notice how um, when he used to attack, when we used to debunk CGI, oh, the debunkers, they never show you and go through the reasons why it's CGI. We do. I do every time. <laughs> But when he does it, it's okay to call it CGI and not actually explain why it's CGI, right? He, it, this guy's like a hypocrite of double standards, just like uh, US politics is. <laughs> CGI shouldn't mean computer graphic image, right? It should be... Uh... Got nothing. It'll happen sometimes. UFO spotted over North Carolina. This one... Well, so okay, so he added nothing to it, right? North Carolina. So okay, okay we'll just have a look at this next one. I've never seen a UFO like this. Honestly, it might be one of the best worst ones I've ever seen. The best, best worst, worst ones. ones. That's right. You've never heard of a UFO being called that before. The best worst one I've ever seen in Asheville, North Carolina. Go. Show me that UFO, kids. What you got? This one looked good. Real and focus. I got it on my viewfinder right here, dude. I got your viewfinder on my show. <laughs> what? I Picking said I got my viewfinder on my show. Yo, look on my screen, dude. I am. I'm trying. That's a look piece right of here. crap, mate. I see it. I see it. Can't film very well, can you? Whoa. What is that? Dude, I filmed it. He's filming a bit of spider web. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, could be anything at this stage, couldn't it? Something that? similar, like three nights ago here, bro. What? No, you didn't. 
Dude, what is that? Dude, come look at my screen. I'm looking look right look. at it. Looks like overexposed moon behind clouds at the moment. I don't know. Oh man, what is it, bro? You got oh, it in yeah. perfect focus for a for for a UFO. I mean. The black screen is perfect. Doesn't get any better, bro. Good job. Never <laughs> seen a UFO so black. Wow. I don't know where you found this crap, it's from, but it wasn't brilliant. third face. So third Look face didn't put it up. <laughs> wow, you're, you should be a movie director, bro. Quit your job now. Uh, so, what is he filming next to to get that effect? Uh, street lamp? Is it lens flare? And become a movie director. Yeah, okay, it was going to the right, and I, now it's moving to the left. Oh, I guess can it could you be a parallax effect or something, but... Were you moving, bro? But dude, look. Look, I'm really... Dude, your focus ability is on point. I've never seen it. Uh, what could it be, though? <clears throat> could be a bunch of balloons. It could be a, a lens flare reflection from... A, lamp next to him. Anybody do the worst? It looks like three without even trying. Yeah, three things. So yeah, it could be a bunch of balloons, couldn't it? Not even in focus. <laughs> you know what it is? It's got to be like a <coughs> Chinese balloon lantern. lantern. It's a lantern. This guy's a balloon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it could be a lantern. What garbage. Anything else? So this is what people watch him for. I mean, give him lots of money. But anyway, uh, moving on. Let's see what else we got. And we've got third face here again. Is it going to remember where I stopped it? <laughs> uh, let's see. There shape what's keeping it up okay there we go it has to remember the same place <clears throat> now we've seen this one before there's a question yeah i got pretty excited um i think they're recycling lots of old videos got a feeling this was in mexico and it's one of those uh globo alarma hot air balloons right I think it's in Mexico. I about seeing this one, and I really appreciate that there's two angles that capture this. In so it kind of looks like one of those pyramid, turned up pyramid uh, hot air balloons. Uh, has it got a payload underneath? In the same vicinity. Like a so basket. Whatever's up there in the skies, 100% uh, legit. Uh, now the big question is, we're asking... Why can't you get it in focus? What is it? We see this, again, it kind of looks like an upside down pyramid at one point and you could see it. uh so yeah it could be a couple of things uh it could be one of those pyramid shaped uh, mylar balloons let's see um, like one of those and if you put a little weight on the, the thin end going this way, it will always float up that direction. So it could be that. And there we go. So you put a little weight so it goes that way. But is it more angular? Not really. It looks like it's got a round bit going over top, right? So I think we've nailed it straight away here. This is what it is. And it could be a silver one. Helium pyramids. You've got these ones that are very square. Bases on. India. Walmart. Six pieces. But that'll they hang down. And these ones are saying they're helium are they helium let's have a look at those ones yeah they like hang down 
I think they might be what those what you can use like fancy weights. Uh, you can put little weights in them, and they look a little fancy at the bottom of decorated balloons. They look like weights to me. So it's not those. It's definitely going to be this one here. I think we're looking at. Let's have a, have a look again. It's got curvature on the sides happening, isn't it? And it's got that curvature at the bot uh, bottom. Well, the top in this case. See that? they got the curved sides going. Terrible uh, focus there. Yeah. So that one's the easy one. It rotating. That's what I really like about this. Uh, oh, yeah. This balloons rotate and uh, air uh, currents. Estimate, maybe uh, 80 to 40 feet. <laughs> no. Uh, what's the size? Do we get a size on the ad? Uh, might be that big. 17 inch, probably, is it? Anyway, that 17 would be about right. Couple of feet. And probably on fishing wire there. Could even be stuck on the power line here. And someone started filming it. It's huge. Yeah, you know, what came to mind for me at first was a satellite, but obviously this is way too low in the sky to be a satellite. That's um, all I hear yeah, when I, I hear. I like <laughs> and she's a nasal talker. It has this, like, black diamond kind of look to it, and I don't know. I mean, maybe it's something new that's being tested out. Maybe it's just kind of more of a sort of satellite type that spy technology or something. Why can't they do what I do, you know? Why can't they just say, oh, let's rule it out as a Milo balloon? Oh, no, it's got to be spy technology. It's got to be Chinese new pyramid-shaped thing that doesn't stand out in the sky. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't do a pyramid spy balloon or anything like that because it would just stand out straight away. You want to make it look more like a weather balloon if you're going to do a spy balloon, right? Because uh, people know what they look like and pay no attention to it. Who knows? Dr. J. You know... <laughs> this reminded me from the movie Oblivion. This reminded me... ...and the tech only inverted. Uh, literally, an upside-down black pyramid. I... No. Yeah, not the catalog. It's just because it's the way it looks, uh, it's the light effect, it's not that colour black. And you can see when it was reflecting back before then, it was actually illuminated. Let's see if it and comes it up again. Rotating. That's another interesting fact. It is very large. I'd also like to know what powers it. How can a, a lawyer be hanging out with hoaxes? Yeah, so if you want a really credible lawyer, go and hire him, huh? I also don't believe this is a black yeah, 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 yeah. either. There you go, look. <laughs> Wasn't black then. You know, it, it's interesting. This there thing. you go, there we go. In fact, if anything, it looks like it might be a white vision or a silver one, actually. It's just reflecting the sky. Generally, if it's a silver one, it reflects the clouds, uh, the sky, and that's probably what we're seeing. That's why it looks like it's faded a wee bit there, because it's blending in with the same sky colour, because it's reflecting it. It seems metallic, if you're asking me. I, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. Is there... You mean like a metal... Like, uh, mylar? Metallic. <laughs> so, yeah, this, they've been putting out a load of crap again. Recycled crap videos. Uh, that we've sort of covered in the past already. There we go for time today anyway, guys. I better check up. <laughs> I haven't had anything to eat yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Apart from sipping on some orange juice juice yet. Uh, three and a half hours already. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to probably have to wrap up soon, though. And again, I haven't got through all my tabs, have I? OK. 
Okay, what are we looking at here? It looks like a light pillar, doesn't it? Okay, we're looking at this once again, like I said just earlier in this episode, the plasma, these uh, strange light anomalies. I think I'm looking at some kind of definite weather phenomenon and don't get me wrong, we'd love yeah, those as well. At least he's being honest on this one. Yeah, it's probably ice crystals. Uh, we're looking at something kind of special. Is this some kind of sun dog, Brent? Yeah, I if, I just love natural phenomena when people are on the ground and they, they see something. Uh, it's too low to be a sun dog, isn't it? Uh, could be reflecting off a building. But it could be like uh, ice crystals. It looks like it's early in the morning where it's like uh, sun's coming up and it's just like a cold day where you, you get the suspended ice crystals. And it's probably some farm building there that might be reflecting the sunlight directly off the roof and creating this strange effect. I think that's just uh, creating itself right in front of their eyes and they pull out the camera and capture something like this. We see this golden prism of light just kind of right in the middle of frame. Yeah, seen... you can see it's smack in the middle of the, the sun there sun dogs and this could be a perfect phenomenon representing that but i don't think it's internal camera because we'd see the movements again could it be something up. else people would say this might be something interdimensional popping yeah you, you see it's pretty stand uh, Through stuck a, in there uh, so it's not an internal something. camera anyway just uh, moving on uh, i've got another one here is that one we just looked at before oh no that's uh this one's CGI. It is. We're looking at something, again, that's quite extraordinary. Uh okay, this uh, is proven CGI. Was it the donuts, uh, guys? Um, we were talking about that a couple of weeks ago, weren't we? Um, and, of course, they added it onto their channel. So that, that means they don't do any fact checking before they put stuff up. And this is only, this was put on after I debunked it as well. Uh, where's the date gone? Oh no, one month ago it reckons. But yeah, uh, it's doing the rounds again. Like, some people is it one month ago since I've done it? Oh, it could be. I suppose time flies. <laughs> But yeah, that one's a CGI artist. Can't remember who it was, but we did look at it. Okay, so we won't cover that one again. Uh, that one we looked at before as well. Where we said we think it's some sort of uh, dark cloud. Which is what you get when you got mountain ranges like that. You get little strange things happening. It's a good thought process uh, with your theory on what we're... So there could have been like a bomb fire there that filmed this little small... It could have been like a forest fire or something like that. Create this little dark cloud that just lingers there because of the slipstream. Uh, yeah, UFA, no. It kind of looks like a cloud. And this one here. Uh, what are we looking at? Looks very pixelated and fakey. <laughs> uh, what are we looking at? Looks like something on a cable. It seems to have a little wobble to it, doesn't it? That looks like a Chinese lantern flickering that's way out of focus though, doesn't it? So there it is. We're looking at this a little closer. The footage is a little grainy and it's hard to shoot at night and capture uh, what you see with the naked eye on the ground. I'm sure it was spectacular. And thus, the reason why we're sharing this video. Somebody is smart enough to pull their camera out and capture this moment of time. What the heck is this? Yeah, Blake, we're looking at a, kind of an amazing phenomenon off in the distance. Just up in the sky and we see these pillars of golden light they shouldn't make me laugh when i'm drinking behind and front of the clouds creating refractions off the clouds itself 
Uh, this doesn't look like a typical... You know, that could just simply be someone early in the morning launching a hot air balloon, because that's when they normally do it, when the air currents are not so bad. And it's just terribly out of focus, and it's behind trees. Uh, did I hear you, Mike? Was that you, Mike? Mike, where are you gone? <laughs> if to Mike. Um... Oh, seven likes on today's show. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> uh, this is the problem with these uh, live debunk shows. Um, they can take a wee bit to go through and um, be a wee bit jumbled up, muddled up, just to keep it more interesting. Rather than just doing one person, one thing, uh, one channel, we like to mix it up a wee bit, just to keep it a bit more interesting. So yeah, that one looks to me like it could be a hot air balloon going up. There's a sort of crap you get on this channel. This one here. Sounds like I can hear people in the background like a cloud outside. Crowd outside, not a cloud. <laughs> What could it be though? Kind of look like a drone, doesn't it? It kind of has a drone effect to it. it. Looks like it's got circular thing with little holes, a square thing in the middle, circular thing with uh, four square holes. We obviously can't see the other one. Looks like a red LED and a green LED on it. Uh, could it be one of those LED kites? But then why can't we see the rest of it? Colors. We see it kind of oscillate from left. It's dipping. Oh, there we go. Look, we can see the red and green. I mean, the the red and green. And I think there was also some other LEDs this way. Red and green again. But you can see here on that angle there, it looks like a square bit with a circular bit. Is it some sort of thing being dangled below a drone? Uh, that's a possibility too. Now we often talk about fishing rods, but nowadays we've got drones that can have a fishing wire going down from the middle of it, suspending some sort of um, display underneath, model underneath, and hoaxing it that way. But it looks very much human made. This um, looks very small and very thin too. But is it a kite? Down and it kind of showcases a kind of something that you could imagine a craft in the sky that looks. So, so it went from that angle to that angle, which kind of suggests it's on some sort of wire. Or a drone can do that too, kind of, it can sort of change direction it's going to go in. So yeah, anyone know if that's a drone out there on the chat, let us know. But I don't think it's UFO. <laughs> Let's see, we've got circular drones. Okay, let's see what we can find. Okay, we've got the induction one here. And another induction one that's a sphere. And I want one with a square bit in the middle. <laughs> Uh, that's got LEDs all around it. So could it be someone's modified theirs with a square bit underneath? That's possible. 
and they're just flying it around filming it. Yeah, I'm not, not happy with any of those so far for this one, but... Doesn't mean there's not one out there that fits it. Sort of moves like a drone. It's another thing you've got to always remember is RC things as well, like helicopters. And you can see even on that snap there, it's very hard to see the blade spinning. Oh, what's that one? M2 Pro Max Underwater Drone. Pretty cool. Uh, land pads. Uh, that's another possibility. Did it have like a parcel underneath? And I know they're experimenting with drones that deliver stuff could this be one of these delivery drones and that's a parcel underneath Let's something quick... very futuristic something out of a movie again could this be maybe just and of course it would have red and white flashing sort of... lights on it would have red and light flashing lights on it so it stands out right lit up drone who knows again this reminds me of a jellyfish in the sea that kind of have this uh, luminescent color just kind of it looks alive a little bit and it seems like it's often so and you can see it's purposely out of focus distance. <laughs> what in the world is this yeah you know it looks like this uh, very bioluminescent uh, holographic effect to it it seems like the lights on it are Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she talks crap. Bioluminance. It's just reflecting off the LED lights off the, the white structure, you know, which would be typical of a drone because they like to use white. Yeah. Could it be one of those lifter drones where they've got the fans as well as uh, iron engines on it? You know, the that's what they've been experimenting with. Or changing Silent. colors and kind of uh, has these different patterns it's displaying. This is really incredible. And it looks very far away to me. I'm wondering, you know, how far away it is from the person recording. I mean, <sighs> it looks so much like a drone. So this is garbage, isn't it? And that girl just talks garbage. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go with a drone on that one. Okay, we're done. Done on that episode. Third phase of fake, and which one was it? Because that looks like the one we were looking at before. Yeah, it does with the fake as well on the fishing line. Uh, we're looking at that one there. Okay. So what else we got? Uh, the world has never seen anything like this. This is the laser ones that we talked about previously uh, let's have a quick skim of what they got on that one I don't think it'll be anything different I'll just shrink it down a bit welcome back to third phase of moon Blake Uh, 
Okay, what are we looking at here? <laughs> Right, we're looking at this video, and what we're looking oh, at... Oh, there we go, I've got something. Okay, that looks like balloons already. <laughs> that is something quite extraordinary. Extraordinary! <laughs> Two tandem UFOs, side by side, traversing across... Two balloons joined by string. ...across the sky at a pretty high rate of speed. Okay, that's what it looks like though, doesn't it? Um... Two balloons join together, one's lost some of its uh, helium and it's sort of dragging a wee bit. What we're looking at is unclear at the moment, but uh, these are the UFO videos you're looking for. And it's nicely in focus, it's always going to be unclear. <laughs> we're sharing them right now in third phase moon, we've got a lot of Oh, thank you, thank you for sharing them, Blaine, for adding noise into the system. Tonight, so buckle up, uh, we're going to ask the people. Uh, buckle up your mouth, he's going to ask the people there. Back to Jay. Cool. Including yourselves, what you think we're looking at. Dr. J, your thoughts right now. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's below. It's on a strange angle. Uh, maybe if it's got a wind and uh, that one's lost some of its helium, it's going to be maybe pushed with the wind, but like a cell. This is one of the craziest footage I've ever seen. I, very unique. First, it's one of the craziest footage. First of all, you have two, what looks like could be, are called craft. Not the same shape. And it's hard to believe this guy's a lawyer. You know, you'd have to go on facts rather than what you believe and what you see. Um... So far, it looks like it's drifted in the wind to me. That's the obvious thing. It's not doing anything crazy like stopping, suddenly going up, going down. Um, so you just got to go by the signatures, right? And something completely bizarre, not symmetrical in any way. Another very... I don't know. They look symmetrical to me, but this one looked like it's lost its ear and gone upside down. And it's... It looks like it was symmetrical from that point onwards here. Very unique point is look at how close they are to each other and the fact that the distance never changes. And of course they're going very slow, no means of propulsion, no smoke or anything like that. I think legit crazy footage and possibly not. Legit footage of balloons. Not from this earth. Yeah, Dr. J, good call on that. Again, we're looking at something that seems like <laughs> good, what cool. you're just saying. Good Yeah, you really added to the UFA community of um, the unknown. I don't think we could do much of that one. We've got more videos coming in. Brent found some uh, interesting ones today. We want to share it with you right now. Take a look at this. Oh, thanks, Brent. Okay, let's have a look at this one before they lose it. Actually, it does look symmetrical, doesn't it? Triangle going down this way. Typical of Chinese lanterns. Could it be two Chinese lanterns that are joined together for my wedding party? Because they normally release two together. In fact, they could even be heart-shaped. Uh, balloons Cause look it looks like it might be going in there so it could be Chinese lanterns is a good one there oh, these ones that they use at weddings these ones here uh, got various shapes to them What two joined together though? <laughs> I 
But if they're in the same air current and they're close together like that, they're going to drift together, right? Yeah, so I'm going to might go with Chinese lanterns on that one. Because we've got no thermal or IR, we can't see how they're glowing. So, uh, may possibly that they've gone out because they only stay up about uh, 12 15 minutes, right? Till the, the wax and the tray runs out. Then they start cooling down like hot air balloons and slowly drift backwards down to the ground. And they're made of paper, so they're meant to be like uh, rot, you know, rather than we'll end up in the sea. Probably some fish will eat them. <laughs> Uh, of course the Chinese use rice paper, I'm not sure if it dissolves in seawater very easily. No, that's a good question really. Um, rice paper. Yeah, it's very thin and light to solve and see. Let's see if we can find some facts. Rice paper, does it really dissolve? Uh, rice paper may get a little soft, but it will never completely dissolve. One thing that dissolves rice paper is water, but okay, so it does dissolve in water. wafer paper but some still call it rice paper uh, so I've had to cut once on a cake but it does melt on your tongue so you can actually eat it okay so it's environmentally so but then again it has wires in it and it has the tray of wax so it's not totally environment friendly is it <laughs> Uh, yeah, what was the next one? Uh, just oh, driving the on the road. They don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what the heck is going on. Brent, any ideas here? Yeah, we weren't sure. I think it was probably one of those sky lasers. Uh, which probably can get hired out for party events. And they can just put it in, at their house. Anyway, at this low cloud here. So who knows? Uh, that's the best we could do on that one. So that is all they're going to talk about this one, is it? I mean, maybe to freak the people out on the ground, or maybe some kind of a energy device. So they're not doing any research Quickly, on it. But right before we get to the next video. Yeah, tons of videos tonight. This is just a... Just kind of look like it might be some sort of special event there in the city, doesn't it? And it's going up to the clouds like uh, Christmas lights. Great call, great capture by everybody because we're looking at something that was... Yeah, it does look like it's illuminating clouds there, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, it's nothing really suspicious in my book. Seen by a mass amount of people, and the people are wondering what's going on in, in the vicinity. If it was changing locations to the air, then we'd know it was coming down from the air, but it's not. It looks like it's ground to air. Vicinity of this area, so we're all asking questions here. I'm sure we might just get to the bottom. Oh no, not the volcano. This is UFOs. crazy. First of all, we've. This is crazy. It looks like a tic tac. Okay. Uh, this will be just like we just looked earlier about uh, planes on bad cameras uh, that form these tic tac shapes on long exposure. We've known for decades, if not over a century, that strange light. And you can see how it's hopping along there, 
this proves it's on a low frame rate uh, security camera and it's going to be a plane when we know there's an airport way behind these volcanoes. And now we know actually structured craft go in and out of volcanoes, always fly near. Dang, 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 uh, maybe because there are a load of hoaxes down there. <laughs> not afraid to share it or be ridiculed from it. Uh, I don't think this is a comet or a meteor coming in. Definitely not a comet. Uh, the way it goes out, is it possibly because it's going into another dimension? But... <laughs> mm, maybe because it's on a, a security camera that doesn't pick up the red lights very well. What interests me more than that is the orbs that... And you can see it's, uh, time-lapsed. Literally, or objects come... And there was a flash of the light there, right? So if we go back, you can see there was a flash of light there, illuminated more of the sky. There. Yeah. Okay, see that? There's the flash. The strobe light, and looks like it's been mucked around with its time lapse. So, the strobe light should be every second. Literally, or objects coming out. Flash. Yeah, um, we're seeing it. Uh, and then it goes into the cloud cover. Anticipate, but then again, we've got more angles coming in. Yeah, I flash. <laughs> From, I think it's a webcams to Mexico. They do, do such a great job just having their cameras on this volcano. Flash. The phenomenon. And again, here yeah. So they slowed it down. Um, so it looks like a regular plane. And they have planes up in the sky too. Yeah, like this is actually happening. Oh, you can see the blinking on this one. In real time, what we're seeing with that dis flash. Is something that seems to flash the caldera. <laughs> flash. Now flash. Really flash. Flash. Time, now we see this. And that's when it sort of shows up more. So that's every um, of, second, of I'd say. A light. Um, Who knows what it is? One one thousand, two one thousand, uh, one one thousand, two one thousand. All in real Plus, it's been mucked around with the speed on the video. These guys, um, they could disprove it that it's not plain, just simply bring it up plate, uh, plane finder and show it's not on the app. But the problem again, what we have here, because it's RF and not always uh, satellite tracked, is um, you don't always get the plane showing up on flight radar uh, because of the hilly train and all that sort of business. Uh, but it'd be uh, definitely on radar, but we don't get radar on the apps at the moment. Whether it ever happened, I don't know. Uh, unless the airports have paid lots of money, I guess, <laughs> to share the data in real time. No, that would be pretty cool, though. And it'd be very hard for the government to cover up things then, because you have an app in real time showing you the radar hits, as well as the call signs. Um. The activity has always been crazy around this and is getting crazier is because I think you're such a shield Dr. J and uh, moving on some it's not an eclipse we're not looking at a solar eclipse we're looking at uh, what do we got here going on it looks like a reflection of come on people reflection of what Ceiling lights. <laughs> uh, this is classic. Uh, those hoop lights uh, hanging downwards. Hoop uh, LED. You can even see the outline of. Uh... So someone's filming through a window. We can see the reflections. And let's, let's see what they say. That's something that um, is mind blowing, and we can't explain it. Okay, is that still a reflection that they've mucked around with? Um, let's have a look. 
Yeah, it could be. Reflection in the window. Could be CGI too, but it looks like we've got the strip going around here. It looks like two bright uh, bulbs there. But it could also be uh, one of those uh, uh, phone apps that fakes videos merging into clouds. So let's just have, keep a look on that. Let's... You know, it definitely it looks like three rings, but to me, it Looks like three rings, like, uh, you mean like ceiling lights? More looks like three structured craft, uh, maybe possibly. <laughs> so it could be something mundane, or it could be UFOs. <laughs> be made of energy, or possibly maybe 30. Okay, so is it a phone app thing, or is it a reflection of kitchen lights? So we're looking at something like that, uh, ring, ring lead lights, lead lights for kitchen, something like that. Ah, oh, <laughs> could it be something like that? <laughs> no, Dr. Ah, oh, they got rings, it looks very simple. What do you think? Michael King, you reckon it could be something like this? Yeah, Michael King's falling asleep. Uh, I think it's... Ah, look at that UFO. Oh, do you think it could be something like that? You see what I mean? Oh, I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 that looks just like it. And you got those ones they use on tripods. They sort of hang them from the ceiling so they can use a smartphone in the middle and actually film your cooking or whatever. There we go, two UFOs at different heights. Yeah, you know, just have to t turn them on at night time, have a nice big glass window like that, and you got your UFOs, right? And that's what how it's done. Or 50 then, or any percentage in this dimension and bleeding over into the dimension where they're at. So maybe that's why we're not seeing it as a typical sport model flying. Hey Mike, he's talking dimensions. Dimensions. Sauce or silver. Maybe it's literally halfway between one dimension and another. So... Could they have done something a bit more here, though? So it definitely looks like hanging kitchen lights, those loops, right? But have they done some Photoshop on the images, uh, like this over here? I think that might be just a storm cloud, and that might be the moon behind. So I think it might be just a regular image. I don't think it has been dotted. But you can see there's another reflection of some lights in the background here. You might be able to even see the people's faces uh, taking the picture, right? Is that a face there? Uh, I wonder if we can run it through some filters. So, almost looks like it's hanging from a, a cable there, doesn't it? Do a reflection there or something. Whether that's uh, something in the background or reflection, it's hard to know. to see that again. Now let's go in this. Uh, these basic filters are not really good really but Yeah, 
Now, LED lights, as you know, you, you can get the remote control that actually can change the color from bright white to any color you want to. And it's possible that they might even have some color ones on the back side of the white one to give it like a, you know, that sort of nice red, um, what you call it, atmospheric effect in, in the lounge or whatever you got it hanging in. But anyway, garbage, nothing to do with aliens, and that one's debunked, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should leave some for another day. Oh, oh well, we can uh, move on from them. Um, anyway, what's happened here? Something strange going on. Oh, it's got pinned. Okay. Close that down. Uh, what was the other stuff? Okay, let's just have a quick look. Was that the one that we just looked at? Uh, I think it was, wasn't it? A goofoni. Oh no, um, this one was about reincarnation. I thought, hang on, it sounds, it fits in exactly uh, what I was saying about um, how the atom could be like a trill uh, trillions of bits of information that's stored uh, like neurons in the brain. Uh, so if those atoms are in the neuron, it may have a, like this idea that you could store, or the human body could store uh, thousands of trillions of bits of information into the atom itself. So when you die, the atom gets recycled and into another, ends up in another brain where it gets reconnected and you get reincarnation uh, of past lives. Uh, that was a theory that I had, um, but there, yeah, he was talking about something here, about it. I've never heard of that. I'm glad I stopped by and look, took a look. Oh my... Let's go back a bit on it. Shield. Why would he do this? Oh my god. Okay, that's obvious some sort of... Um, photo sensitive um, paint that they just brush it on there before it dries they can shine a bright light and it does that sort of thing that's no miracle dude get out of there <laughs> I have never li believed in reincarnation but considered the evidence and was leaning toward believing but here, we have multiple children recalling the same past life. And it reminds me of the deception and screen memories used by NHI during abductions. <gasps> no! So, they've got two children. They claim two children have the same past life. So, well, that could fit in my theory that I was talking about with information being stored in atoms, that it might actually exist and multiple atoms from that person that died you reincarnate uh, you, you uh, cremate it and that carbon atom that was in the brain that contains all that information is now blown up in the atmosphere it gets absorbed by uh, a tree you know co2 gets a sword into a tree and then that carbon ends up being part of an apple that's so on like a mother eats and then that carbon uh, atom with all that information is now in the body of the human that's eaten the apple and then those atoms get broken down and fed to the fetus and ends up in the brain and uh, yeah 
it's possible that it could go over centuries, thousands of years, millions of years even, that information could be stored at atom level. Yet, we've yet to prove that, or, but it's just a theory, and it could explain reincarnation. So, um, yeah, it's got an article here. Way. There are... However, some cases in... So, if uh, Goofon watched me and saw my past theories on all this, uh, which he may have done, <laughs> it's, it's, this is nothing new. So, it looks like they've discovered uh, doing tests on a university there, which is quite interesting. <laughs> they need to hear my theory. In the University of Virginia collection that suggests that their interpretation is not as straightforward as our common conceptions of reincarnation would suggest. For example, in some cases, researchers have investigated two or more children who recall the same past life. Yep. Very possible. I've never heard of that. Duh. I'm glad. You would if you watched the Outlier Journal. I stopped by and looked. <laughs> Took a look. Oh my God! What does that mean? Means there might be something to it. But, that... but they're trying to relate it to spooky action at a distance, like a, a uh, like a dark energy that uh, some kids can tap into as their brains develop. They're more going in that line direction, right? that fits in uh, with that sort of stuff. Well, I think it could be more down to atom level. And if you're breathing those atoms in, they can't come part of your body from a previous uh, living organism, then you can get the memories. So anyway, uh, both theories are plausible, I guess. Um, and probably both are impossible to prove. <laughs> Be. I don't get it. I think uh, a lot of people dropped off now, yes. haven't they? Yeah, the shadows there were. Man, we, you guys must be way behind me because I think you're a minute behind. Gotta be. So I'll probably start wrapping up in a minute. Um, I think most. A lot of people have dropped off now. Hasn't been too many people interacting with us. Um, and Mike, I don't know what's happened to you. Are you there, Mike? I think he's falling asleep. <laughs> we'll just drop him off again. Um, you can type on the side chat now. Um, I'm just going to stop the stream and free up some CPU too. Now, that didn't work out too well with the stream uh, live chat <laughs> today. But uh, that's why I do open I I lines and let people talk about what they want to, uh, especially if it's about their own UFO experiences. But it won't be this weekend because I've got the thing coming up, so it have to be the following weekend I'll start that up again. So, yeah, reincarnation, I believe, is a real thing, but it's yet to be understood. Um, so, this thing here, I might just leave that for next time, and also the Wikipedia stuff again. <laughs> uh, what was that one? Oh, right, that was... Uh, Lou vs. Uh, Kimster. I'll share the link to that too. So we can be done with that one now. So yeah, before attacking people, make sure your facts are correct. Uh, that's all I can say on that one. And... Uh, If you can, keep politics out of it. We've got to focus on the common ground uh, rather than <coughs> worrying about left and right politics. We should be focusing on 
the the topic at hand, which is finding out the truth on UFOs. And as long as we've got the common ground, doesn't matter if you vote for someone that someone else dislikes. Uh, that shouldn't come into it. So keep try and keep politics out of the UFO. Keep religion out of the UFO field and uh, get more scientific uh, analysis in it and better uh, skills at video and UFOs is much needed. Uh, this spud cam stuff is not the best as you can see from what we just looked at today. So yeah, I'll see what I can find out for next time and uh, who knows, maybe even Robert will join us, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he's got probably lots of interesting stuff, new stuff that he can add uh, instead of talking about the regular stuff that's doing the, the rounds at the moment. But I'm thinking I'm just going to round it up there. I think we're up to four hours or gone, gone now. And I need to get something to eat or at least to get a break again. So, yes, been fun, guys, relaxing and uh, going over the stuff of years again. I'll say goodbye there. And I'll close that down there. And I run up the credits now. And uh, we'll look at more stuff next time, I guess. Uh, I think UFO Man's removed a lot of those things I've debunked. Always put them in private. And he's now creating these mega packs like uh, Third Phase is doing, how they do the best of 2019 and he's been doing that too so the ones that we have to bunk now is bundle it into these big uh, combinations and he gets extra views that way more cash that way and that just makes it a bit harder to get rid of the the videos individually you see when you debunk them because it's in a bundle then but anyway I don't like that um, but maybe we'll, we'll look at some of his uh, new offerings in future too. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of shells out there. They're not interested in the ufology in themselves, or they are, some of them, and the uh, delusional. Uh, but a lot of them aren't interested in it, and uh, are just after the cash. And uh, see you again next time, guys. So don't get conned. But if you do find anything good, uh, do bring it to the channel and we'll have a look. Um, simply just join our Discord group on that um, webpage link I posted at the start of the show. And um, you can go and post your links uh, that you want us to look at next time. Anyway, uh, take care on the road, so we'll see you again soon. Okay, is it coming up? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to uh, Michael there. <laughs> but uh, it is late and early in the morning over there. I might have to do some late night shows where it's uh, afternoon in UK and Europe to make it easier for people on that side of the world. Now uh, we'll see what happens. I haven't been feeling terribly good myself lately. I'll just say good night here. Thanks again for the donations and a couple of side chatters here. I guess there might have been something more interesting on TV or something, I don't know. But you can always watch it offline. And I better end this. <laughs> uh, see. Uh, that's way behind. So we drop off Odyssey, Pilled, Rumble, and Twitch. I don't think we had anyone on Twitch today. And YouTube.